No, I practically insist. Have your have your follow alert. Hang on. Uh, let me just find it. Right. Hang on. Uh, there you go. Good as new. Oh, there's no audio this time. Oh, there we go. Excellent. All right. Um, the chat box might look a little unaligned right now, but that's because we haven't chosen the character yet. When we actually get in game, it's it's fine because it fits just between the outliner and the map. Right. I'm gonna try hard it a little bit today. We're gonna be a little more serious than yesterday because that was a, that was a state. That was a mess. Um, and we didn't really go anywhere with it either. Firstly, uh, the ethnicity can stay. I don't really care. Are we gonna play male or female? Does it really make much of a difference? Um, I quite like the female meta game of going like super attractive. And then all of your vassals like you. So we're going to do that. Um, first name. I need suggestions for first names in Dynasty while I actually make the character. Because that's something I'm not good at. Uh, we'll take mine as touched. That's a good start. No, 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 no. Uh, brilliant strategist, obviously. Uh, we're going to get a proper Joan of Arc character with this. Yeah, less people have turned up today probably because I haven't done a, uh, a YouTube announcement video or anything like that. But if I keep doing that, YouTube are actually just going to... Ban my channel. Emperor of Mali from Japan. Zoroastrian, alright. I'm actually going to play Zoroastrian. Mainly because the um, the Japanese faith isn't particularly fleshed out in this. And playing Zoroastrian will give us the ability to holy war everyone. And we can reform a religion on our way over to the west. So, that seems appropriate. Grab all the holy sites on the way. We'll take Lost All. We need to take everything that's going to make um, our vassals love us. Now, I do have the additional congenital traits mod. So, we can be like uh, Immaculate. Wherever that is. Um, whoa, what's all this stuff? Look at this. Siege Master? Siege plus 60%? I mean, that's not a trebuchet, so I don't really care. Um, Zealous Warrior. These are cool. These must be just because we've picked Brilliant Strategists, because those weren't available last time. Um, what do I want, then? We want Immaculate. We want uh, Prolific. Is that an, uh, an opinion buff? Yeah, plus 15. Name her Sakura. Theresa May. <laughs> These are, these are terrible. The Anime Dynasty. I kind of like the idea of just calling it anime. Given the amount that you lot in chat went on about that yesterday. Um, I think that's fine. I think we're brilliant. We can definitely breed it into the family. So let's not worry about it too much. So we got to pick... How many of these do we get to pick then, I wonder? Preeminently, the leading the center plus 20%. Oh, that's like Zealous plus... Um, plus leading the center. That's awesome. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's constantly lead armies. Get ourselves killed instantly. That seems like a good idea. Um, tactical leader, that's flanking, we don't even want to worry about that too much. Um, fanatical leader, pursuit and damage plus 10%. Holy shit, and it's religious enemies plus 15% sold. That's going to be basically everyone. We could just stack a bunch of damage tactics here. That'd be pretty broken. House Boku no Pico, you're banned. No, you are actually banned. Um, everyone's going to be our religious enemy because there are barely any Zoroastrians. So, I'm, I'm tempted to just go full... Build. Give her thick. Uh, that's not a trait. You've lied to me. Hello. How you doing? Thank you for tuning in. I'm not going to try and pronounce your name. Drogaling. I lied. I tried anyway. I don't think I got it right. Um, that's a good start. All right. What else do we want to take? We've obviously got to bring our age down a little bit here. Oh, God. What have I done? Um, selfish. Stewardship plus one. Vassal opinion minus five. Uh, it's kind of a balance things out quite nicely, I suppose. Uh, let's go for some of these bigger ones to start off with. Moneylender is... Minus three age for plus one stewardship, plus one learning, and church opinion. We don't care about the church. We can take dull. That just lets us shift points around, basically. And we could actually get rid of it with events as well. They've rebalanced a lot of these. because it, it used to be really easy to make quite an overpowered character with the ruler designer, but they've, they've fixed it quite well. Um, wounded always used to be a good one to take, but they've actually taken that away because it used to heal pretty quickly. Um, what have we got? Savant is 27. That's plus 6 in everything. Wow. Why don't we go for... Any, any suggestions for house name yet? Have we, have we had any good ones? Inbred? Go for inbred? I don't think so. I think that's a really bad idea. <laughs> um, Absent-minded isn't bad. General opinion minus 10 though. Ugh. Not so good. Rude. Can we get... Well, we want to consider traits we can get rid of, right? So I'm going to take Selfish. I might even take Slothful, because going on hunts for a while can get rid of Slothful and turn it into Diligence. So I'm going to take Slothful as well. Um, you can take Gluttonous, because we can get rid of any of the, the, the sins quite easily. Craven we can also get rid of pretty easily, but it sort of goes against the build of our character here. I don't want to be too too overpowered. Um, house Inbred. Alright, you know what? I'm not going to make him Inbred, but we will name the house House Inbred. Be the Inbred Emperor. 
Stubborn. Diplomacy, stewardship, vassal opinion, minus five. But we've already got such a massive... I don't think I want prolific in hindsight. Or maybe take prolific but not immaculate. The subtraction opinion, plus 40. That's essentially plus 40 with all of our vassals. Because they're all going to be males. Um, I'm going to take that. I'm not going to take slothful. I feel like that's a bit better. I'd rather have stats rather than traits at this point, to be honest with you. Make your first child Zoroaster of the Incest Dynasty, prophet of the Zoroastrian faith, and marry them to their sibling. <laughs> Remind me to flip to Zoroastrian, otherwise I'm going to forget before we finish his character. Um, that one's pretty good. Prestige, Intrigue, Fertility, Spouse Opinion plus 10, Attraction Opinion plus 5. I've got to take some of the Fertility buff, just so we can uh, continue our line a little bit. Attraction Opinion plus 10 for 9 age. That's not bad. I would rather get some stats, though, like I said. I feel like it's probably better, even if we get, like, uh, what's brilliant like? That's plus 6 to everything, isn't it? 35 age, though, Jesus. Um, we can breed that into the family. We don't need, we don't need things like that. Right, sod it. I'm just going to buffer up manually at this point. Uh, let's go for a bit more diplomacy, a bit more martial. Just sort of round her off a little bit. 35. I feel like that's a bit late. I feel like we make her a little bit younger. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of war to start off with, so I feel like a good starting entry character, a good martial starting character, isn't a bad plan. Immaculate's costing us a lot of age. Ah, you know what? V vassal management's pretty straightforward. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, bear with me here. Instead, we're going to try and take, like, Brilliant instead. And just try and have a shit ton of kids. Because if we're playing Zoroastrian, right? Turn off the chat retreat, thank you. If we're playing Zoroastrian, chances are we're going to be breeding with a lot of other people with good... Well, our family members, basically. So we're going to try and keep Brilliant in. And it's probably going to be quite likely we're going to keep it with each generation. So we probably want to pick some of the good ones to start off with. Um, I'm going to need to take something to cancel this out, though. What do we need? We need to knock off, like, 25 years at least. So I'm going to go for Stubborn. I'm going to go for Dull. And I might even take... I mean, we can get rid of... Oh, Cynical's good. I should take Cynical. Uh, we'll get rid of Slothful, because Slothful we can definitely flip. If we, if we just go for uh, Hunting Focus for a while. Right. Dwarf. That's not a bad idea, but it is inheritable. Oh, we can't even take Dwarf. It's not even on the list. Right. Okay, what, what dynasty name did we say? Inbred? Sure. We've got to have some fun with it. Inbred. And first name... Do we have a good first name as well? Left-handed is minus seven, was it? That seems really overpowered. Um, can't even say I really noticed. Uh, selfish, maybe better than... S oh, yeah, we've got to take Selfish. That was, that was much better. We'll, we'll swap Selfish out for Slothful. Um, Left-handed was minus seven. Where was that? Oh, there's Dwarf. Right, got it. Uh, Marshall minus three. General opinion minus 15. Mm, maybe not. Mm, not mm, not today. Oh, it's minus two for left-handed. Well, we should definitely take that, though, because it gives Marshall as well. Good spot. 28. This is pretty good. It's a pretty good character for 28. We're up to 21 Marshall as well. What about some of these? What's, like, passive? What does that do? Marshall minus one, fertility minus 5%. That seems really good for minus 10 age. I don't know if it's inheritable, though. It doesn't make much sense that you can inherit basically being a lazy character. Um, I'd like to say that and instead take fruitful. Or maybe even fertile. Yeah. 27. That's good. I think you wrote a typo in the first surname. In red. Simply red standing by. Sakura. Okay, we'll go with Sakura because that's actually a Japanese sounding name. In bread with a B. There we go. Religion. Zoroastrian, obviously. Uh, where is that? That's Mazdan, isn't it? Nice. Okay, anything else we want to change before we before we set off and obviously deal with the rules? Don't let me forget that. Oh, hang on. First thing. Oh, we can't even mess this one up. Well, that's a shame. Um, let's just pick something at least half decent then. What's nice here? Uh, I think we'll go for the dragon. That's pretty symbolic of... Um, oh, okay, never mind. We'll go for the the dragon. There we go. And that's going to be a pink dragon, because girls like pink. That's science. <laughs> well, it's not pink. Okay, we'll go with the slightly off purple. Cause ways to mess around with starting culture. I don't want to make it too... Uh, too... Destabilized in our original realm. We want a, a nice clash in color. That's good. Pea green and a horrible purple. Nice. That'll do. Okay. I don't really know what starting culture would be good. We could go with Norse. We could go, Norse is a good culture to have just because of the raiding abilities and the, and the runestone as well. Gives you obviously vassal opinion. Um, I do like playing things Nordic, but that also means we're going to have to focus on cultural and religious conversion. And as a character that isn't particularly diplomatic, I think we might make some enemies. I'm happy with this. I think this is a, a fairly alright start. Not too difficult. We'll wait and see. Again, we need to work on our dynasty next. Right, rules. Let's take a look. Load the rules. 
we use what we did yesterday. I'll make some tweaks to it, though. And um, we want Shattered Retreat off. Where is Shattered Retreat? Uh, someone with eyes. Let me know. Defensive Attrition. Oh, let's just start from the top. Okay. Um, Major Epidemic's deadly. I'm fine with that. Minor Epidemic's, we're going to set that to default because that's just annoying. Uh, Chinese Interactions, Invasions, oil. I don't think that matters because it's been removed in this. Um, these are fine. Devil Worshippers, fine. Secret Religious Cults, fine. Um, that's all default. Shattered Retreat, off. Goodbye. Siege Assault, fine by me. Siege Events, yep, they're also fine. Defensive Packs, what do we think? On or off? They slow the game down a lot, but it, we might need it just in case we snowball. Especially when you get to the size of, like, the Roman Empire. You can change the Dynasty Shield when you started from the Dynasty Tree, in case you didn't know. Yeah, I've got, I've got all the DLC. Yeah, we can do that. Go African Culture. I kind of want a culture that will at least give us some benefits. And the African cultures aren't quite fleshed out enough to be worth it, I think. Um, let's set rating back to historical. I kind of forgot we did that last time, actually. Um, as long as we've got, realistically, sort of around the right rules, then I'm kind of fine with it. Uh, we'll turn off Assassination Direct Action, because that's a little bit overpowered as well. We'll keep dueling back on default. Um, grant Independence Unrestricted. We'll restrict it, because I think if you're a truce, it means you can't grant people independence if they're causing problems. Pact also does probably help against the super AI enemies. Yeah, it'll help against China this early on. Especially if they start grabbing up, to, even like these small provinces, it'll start ticking up quite quickly. Um, University Foundation early, because I'd actually like to look at that mod this time. Focus alerts, minimal. Because that annoys me so much when we're playing and we're told about people in our court, I really couldn't care less. Alright, save rules. Just in case we want to come back to this in the future. And I think we're good. Right. Anyone want to change anything before we head off? If not, we'll just roll with it. Gives me a chance to hydrate. I think we're good then, yeah? Alright. Let's do it. Am I going to be able to come to the Roman Empire before the end of today? Uh, probably not. I don't know how long I'm going to stream for. I haven't really planned it ahead too much. Um, we'll wait and see. The Great Trade League. Welcome to the mini tutorial. Uh, understood. Yep, that's fine. Welcome to CK2. You're playing as Japanese. Shinto. Blah, blah, blah. We're not. We're playing as Zoroastrian, but thank you for trying. So what do we want to take first off then? I mean, seeing as we are lost to land fertile, I think taking the family focus or the seduction focus is a bit pointless. Where's the Fortnite game rule? You're banned. Oh, God. We've got to give so much land away. Um, I'm going to move the chat then down, just in case the outlier fills up pretty quickly, which I think it actually might. Move the chat over here. There you go. Just colonize Africa. Africa in this is actually just a complete wasteland. Like, they've just basically fleshed out a little bit of Eastern African here, and then everything Sub-Sahara is just, like, almost non-existent. I wonder if you can actually, you can actually play as these guys. They've put characters here. Weird, look at that. Gain every African kingdom? We might as well. If we're going for a Roman Empire run, we need most of Northern Africa anyway, so... Oh my god, this is going to be so difficult. We've got to get through China. We've got to get through the Nomads. We've got to get through Tibet. We've got to get through the Abbasids and then take out the Byzantine Empire. I suppose by that point, we'll probably be, assuming we get that far, we'll be pretty decently strong anyway. All right. Pick an ambition. So th this is generally a good start, actually. Oh, you know what? We've got all the land to start off with. We could have gone with a custom culture. Do we want to go for a custom culture? Because I'll just do use it with the, uh, with the console quickly. I forgot that we had all the time we can just give away. So... We can just make vassals of our culture. We can just spawn them in with the uh, with the employee new courtier. I'm quite happy to go Norse if you want to go Norse. That might be fun. Let's us raid, which is obviously really powerful. Either that, or we could go for like um, we could go for like Pictish culture or something like that. I mean, what that would do is let us go for Tanistry. Put the chat there. There we go. Go raid. I kind of like that idea. All right. Uh, culture... Norse. Alright, there we go. Problem solved. <laughs> this is going to be a weird run. This is pretty much the only place we can actually do it. Be Roman culture. You know what? That's actually a pretty good idea. I'll just see what Roman culture does before we commit to it. Um, there's actually only one character in the game with Roman culture. Blind characters cannot inherit titles. Is that it? Probably not worth it in hindsight. I'll stick with Norse. Indonesian. There are a lot of Indonesia. There's a lot of cultures added by um, added by this mod, actually. Like, a load that I have no idea what they actually are. This culture's map made. There's shit tons added. Again, I don't think they have any special features, though. So I'd rather go a base game one, because we at least know that that's got some uh, decent features for us to go with. 
All right, what do we want to do? Search for a smith, help with managing my turtles. Yeah, but we'll do that manually so that obviously we get vassals of our religion and culture. Um, we're going to have to spend a fortune inviting nobles to our court. We might even want to make some duchies to give to them as well. Um, do we have any like castles or anything like that? Because that would at least mean we could spawn in some courtiers now. So you can right-click create new vassal, obviously, but these guys are going to be Japanese by default. Okay, that's annoying. Um, invite a noble to court. Let's do it. Ingemar. <laughs> Welcome to Japan, Ingemar. Let's go ahead and give you... We'll just start from the top, I suppose. Um, we want to keep a couple of duchies for ourselves, because we, we can, more or less. So what's it we want to keep? We want to keep Kinai, which is our main province here. Do we want to keep uh, the one north or the one south of us? That one's pretty big. Tokai is five provinces. Uh, Sanin is three, so we could hold Sanin and Kinai there. What's that, six plus... Yeah, that's that's exactly nine. So we keep those two, we give everything else away. Merchant Republic? Um, it's a bit late to flip to a Merchant Republic now. You actually can't do it as an Emperor level type. There is an exploit to do it, but you can't do it at this stage. Northern Japan, 100% historically accurate. That's what CK2 is for. Go Island Hopping Conquest is probably the best initial target for Conquest. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a lot of coastal provinces as well to deal with. I think we could probably work up this uh, work up this coast here to what is modern day Russia. Obviously, move south as well to Taiwan. Probably go down into Indonesia. And you know what? Seeing as these are all single county provinces, we can conquest all of them, right? We have a valid Casas Belli against them, although it says if it doesn't, because we don't have a uh, we're not within the right sea lane or that we don't hold a border with them. But we will be when we get to that stage. So we could probably just chain walls all the way down to Australia, basically. Apparently, bear culture can in <laughs> can eat prisoners. I didn't know that. But there is, um, there is a weird mechanic in CK2, whereas if you eat a prisoner and they have, say, um, genius or strong or anything like that, there is a chance you can actually get that trait for yourself. Um, what are we doing anyway? We invited Ingemar to my court. Ingemar, where are you? Grant landed title. Let oh, we should have started with the son so we could marry him. Silly me. All right, we'll give him our. There you go. We'll give him an entire duchy because it'll just make it easier for actually dishing out land. Plus, it means we won't have to spend a fortune employing... Wait, hang on. They're one gold each at this stage, aren't they? Because we haven't got any monthly balance. Yeah, we're good. How is everyone? This is a racket. It's nice and loud. I like that. Alright, we'll just get... Oh, that one's costing us prestige and piety. Okay, maybe we won't do that one too much. So America actually isn't in the game right now. Like, Alright, we're going to have to... Oh, game, don't do this. There's no shortcut. Alright. Um... They've only flashed out certain parts of the world. They focused almost entirely on Asia and some parts of Oceania as well. There's no America in it yet. I guess that is a lot to ask. I suppose they'd have to put in a shit ton of effort into that. Um, in terms of the actual like provinces and sort of drawing up borders. I suppose it makes it kind of hard for, for countries that didn't really have much written history at this stage. In 769, seeing as we didn't know America even existed. Um, what should we go for? Commissioner Runestone. We might as well. Although, no, no, no. Let's wait till we've actually dished out the land first before we do that. Because otherwise they'll caught 102. So I, I got them all wives as well. Um, this guy's an idiot. He's perfect in every way. Be Crasta from Game of Thrones. That's the plan. We want to keep that brilliant in the family tree. So the best way to do that is obviously uh, marry, our, marry our wives and kids to each other. Marry our kids to our, ourselves to become our wives is what I meant to say. Shikoku, right. Grant landed title. Uh, do we want this guy to be too powerful? Probably not. We should probably give each one land. It's going to be a ball lake, but that's just part of playing Japan, I suppose. Um, you may have the province of Aki. It would be an easy way to do this. would be just to go search around. My religion, my culture, uh, gender, men, ruler, no. Sort by stewardship. All right. There we go. That's going to be a lot easier. And we'll just go down in alphabetical order, I guess. Bingo. With lower titles. Not that it's necessary because I don't think there's actually any lower titles to give them. I think there's one or two temples kicking around here and there. Uh, that's not one we want to keep for ourselves, I don't think. No, it's not. Um, let's just reset that. There we go. You may have that one. And then Heralda can have Etchu. Yep. This is going to take a while. Bear with me here. Gandalfa. Great name. Uh, is that one we want to keep for ourselves? Sanyo? Nope. Guess because they would be nomadic. Yeah. Yeah, I assume so. They just have to do lots of little provinces for nomads. And nomads are really bad for lag in CK2. Like, they, they really take up a lot of resources. Um, where are we giving this guy? Higo. Okay, there we go, right. Um, Refil. I like they've all got Japanese last names. That's so good. Uh, County of Itachi. Where is that? There we are. Dan. 
gets uh, he Zen. Where's he Zen? All the way down there. Arn fast. No special interest to you. We could also take a look and maybe make a husband out of some of these people, depending if we got any that were, were geniuses or anything like that spawned in. Um, is that what we want to keep for ourselves? Tokai? I think that was actually... No, that one's not. Right. Arnfast, you can have Issei. Thorda can have Iwami. Can't believe this is actually going to work. I don't know why they don't already have vassals in place. It, it, it's kind of overpowered if you want to do things like this, but it's kind of nice to also be given that option, because that's not something that you can do in uh, base game CK2 at all. It's not like you get an entire empire you can just dish out as and when you please. Um, there we go. We give that to that guy. Take over Mongolia while they're still weak. Probably not a bad idea. Probably not a bad idea. Um, in Gelfa. Because they'll all be quite split up at this stage. I think most of Asia will be um, relatively underpowered at this stage. If we give any land away, we can just revoke it back. They'll all love me anyway, because our character is, is a good character. Uh, Izumo. Where's Izumo? That one we want to keep. Mino, I don't think is one we want to keep. Don't be surprised if I accidentally give away a province that we wanted to keep here. Refill? They've still got 16 stewardships, so the higher the stewardship, the more likely they are to convert provinces that we give them. So these guys might actually do a decent amount of work for us here. Omi? Where's Omi? Okay, that's definitely ours. Awari. My god, there's too much land here. Uh, Rickerson, there you go. Hjalmar, still up to 15 stewardship. That's that's crazy. Um, Omi is ours. Sagami. Help me. Funny, there was a button that did this all automatically for me. That's the issue with giving out titles by like having the game do it, because there is obviously that intrigue menu option. Doing it like that is not great, because the game has a habit of giving lots of vassals, lots of titles, and making them super powerful. Where is this? Oh, there we are. Right. Switch to a Natic. Should announce your streaming on Discord. Did I not? Sorry, that's my mistake. I'm an idiot. Um, I will let them know in a second, then. Tango. Tosa. There you go. Magni. You may have uh, Toshima. Where's Toshima? Look, where the hell is Toshima? Oh, it's all the way down there. Oh, it's that tiny island. Okay, fair enough. There you go. And Ragnar. I think he might be the last guy we've ever actually given land to here. Yamato is ours. That one's ours. Oh, you know what? Oh, we've done it. Okay, awesome. Right, and we have seven out of nine. What did I give away that I didn't want to give away then? Probably this one here. Yeah, key... He was the only one I accidentally gave away then by the looks of it. Yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, pal. But I'm going to need this back. Plot power. 1,422% chance to kill him. Yeah, I I'll take that. We could just try and revoke it, I suppose, and not worry about it. Uh, what's it? County of Key? Oh, we can only revoke them from the Japanese guys. And in fact, that's probably not a bad idea either. I imagine all of our vassals will want to join us in that. Let's put the uh, speed up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Awesome. Right. Didn't cost us too much gold either. Barony? We've got... Oh, that's a temple, right. So we actually want to start killing off these guys so we inherit their land. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Rename all of the provinces. If you guys have suggestions for provinces for, for our... Uh, we'll say baronies here, just so we actually see them in the uh, outliner. Then I will... Uh, I'll actually rename those for us. Alright, pick an ambition. First things first, let's have a son. So we want to groom an heir. And we want to probably... What am I thinking? We want to get rid of stubborn, cynical, selfish. These all aren't great. Let's go for the rulership focus. See if we can't get, you know, just alongside it as well. Just to start off with here. Even though our vassals love us. Can't hurt. Well, let's set our crown focus here in Yamashiro. Special minor titles. We go designate a region. Oh, th these guys we're going to get rid of. We're going to try and get rid of the Japanese guys. Ironically enough. Um, we should marry off all of our... All of our vassals that we just put in place. But they'll probably approach me with four betrothals if they want them. Either Incest or Wincest is the capital name. We can name the capital Incest and then we name the barony Wincest. Why don't you let me give out my spa bods? Please. Be my spa bod. Nobody wants to be that. They could be my Irma Gerds instead. No? No one wants to do any of these. We don't get these titles anyway. They're mine. Um, we did employ one or two commanders, which I didn't mean to do because that cost us all of our prestige, but that's fine. Alright, there you go. Ingyurda and Yukashige. Nice. Awesome. So that probably won't take too long to culturally convert Japan. Now, again, we do want to revoke some of these titles here and there that uh, the Japanese guys have got left. Ruler and married. Right, let's find ourselves a husband then. Um, anybody who's a genius. There's one man and he's Tengri. Um, what about somebody who's brilliant? Do we have any brilliant characters? Because that's part of the congenital traits, man. I think we're just going to have to wait for them to spawn in. Just double check though. Brilliant. Oh, there are some. Wow, okay. Uh, gender. 
Men, Diplo range, yes. Oh, wow, there actually are. Shit. That's awesome. Okay. Um, let's go for someone who's preferably kind of young. Just so they're going to be alive at the same rate as us. This guy, brilliant. He might do. Um, he's a ruler, though. That's a little bit annoying, because we do want him to join our court if we can. Um, are there any brilliant rulers or brilliant characters that aren't rulers? Doesn't look like it. They're all brilliant strategists. I need to rename this trait. It's so annoying having to go through this entire list like this. That guy's immaculate. Send that. We're brilliant. We need to try and get somebody with immaculate. And he's, he's a chancellor there. That's, a, that's an issue. He might marry us. See, because he's a chancellor, we can't even buy a favor and invite him to court. That's a bit annoying. Uh, what about this guy here? Just a treasurer? Arrange marriage between... Matrilineal. No. Consider offer from infidels. Is he, is he, is he a treasurer? All right. Fair enough. Matrilineal. Don't worry, I, I wouldn't forget to do that. I'm not quite that bad at CK2. I don't really want to marry a ruler. Damn, this is a bit annoying. Okay, uh, what about you, Commander? Commander's fine. We'll send him a gift. We'll buy a favor. <laughs> no. Sorry. Um, arrange marriage, matrilineal? No. Damn it, we got to try and get a favor from this guy. He might be the only brilliant character in the game right now that we can actually potentially marry. Um, damn, that's so annoying. I wonder how we can convince him to get over here. Normally, I'd send him an artifact or something, but obviously, it's a bit too early for that. No funds for you. All we want to focus to start off with, rather than bribing randomers. Oh, shit. This is good. Um, let's go for Vassal Administrator. This is from the... Uh, uh, what is it called? It might be... No, it's not the sketchy trait mod, is it? Savant and other traits. That's what the mod is called. Uh, we'll take Vassal Administrator. Stewardship plus two. Vassal Opinion plus ten as well is obviously awesome. Conquer Indonesia. Jump along the coast of Africa so you don't have to fight any massive nations. What, go, go all the way around south, you're saying, like, through through the sort of Arabian Peninsula instead. We could just spawn in. Keep spawning in characters. Conquer where he lives, then marry him. <laughs> Marriage by the sword, I like it. How is our plot doing? 156%. I was kind of hoping it would be higher than that, but we can just uh, revoke the county by asking nicely, basically. War it is. What a fool. He's going to take on basically the entirety of Japan over one title. All right, fair enough. Let's do it. Oh. Don't like that he's already going to catch some troops. Oh no, we're going to lose a small amount. Nope, we didn't. What happened? Sorry? Uh. He turned into a duke. Right. Okay, never mind then. Let's, we'll just have to revoke that guy's title instead. It's a bit annoying. Uh, what do we want to revoke for? The County of Huga, Chikazen or Bongo. Kill the Daimyo. Let's just keep revoking these smaller titles to start off with then. Can I take this? I'll keep the information to myself. War it is. Right, first things first, let's get Japan sorted out, and then we'll start heading across the coast and sort of going for that major world conquest. My god, we have so many provinces. This is ridiculous. Norse raid where he lives until you take him as prisoner, then marry him. You're a genius. I, I keep forgetting we're Norse for some reason. It's like we're playing in Japan or something. Castle Bella no longer valid. He turned to a duke. You can't keep doing this. You, you can't just do this. This isn't fair. Right, okay, take two. Um... Now we can only plot to kill them. God damn it, that's annoying. Um, he does have one member of, of his house. And I imagine we've got a pretty decent plot to kill him. So we'll just keep killing him until the title reverts back to us, I suppose. Um, nothing for you today. University in Oxford. I'd like to found our own, uh, you know, like academy in Japan. Because we get a lot of bonuses from them. You can go study there, as long as they're within Diplo range. Uh, Commissioner Runestone. We should probably do that immediately. Just because it'll help our vassals. We have, oh, we have Dull, don't we? Shit, forgot about that. Yeah, we might want to try and get rid of that. I wonder if we can do it via the, uh, the Hermetic Society should let us do that. The stone is raised. It's perfect. General opinion plus 10. Awesome. Uh, this is still the non-serious game. No, no. This is the serious game. This is this is legitimately the serious game. Zoroastrian for the Holy War. Keeping the good family traits. Norse because it allows us to raid and it's the best culture. Uh, Shinto Uprising. That's fine. Plus Japan lets you do that because we can actually give out land to the you know, you know people of our religion and our culture without having to worry about it too much. Okay. Right. Uh, it's complete. My plus two was not discovered. That's fine. We're gonna push him off the balcony instead, and we'll keep. Can we keep our vassal administrator though? That's that's a good trait to have. Some radical Norse Japanese tunes. What's Twitch like with uh with copyright? Are they are they pretty mad about people playing music on the streams that they don't have access to? I know they mute it. Um, if it's obviously copyrighted songs. Damn, that peasant revolt was greedy. Look at how much they were going for. Get out. Right, what's our moral authority looking at right now? Uh, we're going to have to do a lot of holy wars here to try and get this together. And obviously, reforming religion should probably be our first major goal. 
All right, back to business. What were we doing? We're trying to uh, kill people off. We'll kill this man. We could just try and convert them, I suppose. Demand religious conversion. No. Minus 100 because we killed his dad. Yeah, fair enough. But we, we are... Well, let's kill this guy first. Oh, well, that plot's already fired anyway. Whoops. You should make all of our soldiers use wooden weapons and armor for historical accuracy. Yeah, we're we'll going to take our bamboo chest piece over to uh, over to Europe and get impaled. That's a good plan. Oh, we should close the book while it's early on. Um, managing around. Yeah, let's go for that stewardship book. Uh, no carousing for me. We're too busy. We want to do our own sort of stuff here and there without being counted as busy. And this guy's going to die and we're going to get his stuff back. Didn't drink the wine, but he's unable to uncover us. Now, we do want to make these duchy level types as soon as possible as well. Oh, vassal limit's not bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Then all we've got to do is flip these provinces into holdings so that we can actually have, and then we can start expanding outside the realm. Uh, Chancellor, you'll do. Should name your empire the, the Kingdom of Nororastrian. That's great. Okay, done. Empire of Japan. I'm going to call you Nororastrianism. Uh, adjective, Nororastrian. Nice. That makes perfect sense. Uh, I smell profit. Yeah, give me some money. 3.6 gold. Worth it. That's really worth annoying our vassals over. And he is dead. Thank you very much. Right. So we got a whole uh, duchy level type there. We might as well just give it to one of our vassals that are already here. And this guy's got himself married as well. So chances are he'll live on for a while. There you go. You can now be my new Jarl. Awesome. Powerful vassal. But, you know, he's a really good character and he likes us a lot. So that seems pretty fair. Um, we've got to deal with this guy next. Alright. Problem solved. Actually might be much quicker than I thought. Holy shit. This mod actually runs really well. Compare this to like Mad World at speed 5. It's doing really good for itself. Good but bad. Again, not a problem. We're not playing CK2+. Plus, so once you kill one person, you kill as many people as you like. You only get the minus 10 once. How's it going? Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to, welcome to Japan. <laughs> the true Japan. The real Japan. The historically accurate Japan. My reputation is ruined. Oh no, my reputation. And try and get impatient. Oh, that'd be good. Nothing. Okay, rude. Uh, again, I'll stick with Vassal Administrator if you don't mind, game. Don't know why he keeps asking me about that. Channel, such a nice carriage, though. Alright, there's our Dutch level title. And we might as well give that to this guy, I suppose. Come on, landed title uh, to Hoku. Now, what we've got to do is, again, flip these into... Oh, well, that one flipped automatically because the guy died, which is excellent. Just got to kill this guy off so we inherit his land. Um... Right, so the issue is we're not going to inherit because it's a barony. One way you could do that is grant independence, then declare war for the holding later on. Um, either that or we could pass um, revoke religious revocation, which is probably not a bad idea if we're going to play, um, you know, the religious game here in a, in a county that isn't ours. Thought Empire or a new game? This is a new game. Uh, flip to business and get rid of Dull. Yeah, good idea. Uh, I have nothing for you today. Dollar's actually going to hold us back quite a lot. And we'll go for Corpus Iris Civilis. I don't know if that's how you say that. Pretty immediately there. Just to, just for the vassal opinion. Also gives us a domain size, which is pretty nice. Gives us plus five from up from feudal there. And obviously that one gives us another plus five as well. So we want to move over to that one eventually anyway. Right. I can't believe we don't have an empowered council. Japan seems like a really easy start if you actually want to play like proper Japanese Shinto. It seems really overpowered, to be honest with you. Especially because your first character is going to be giving out so much land and all your vassals are going to like you because of it. Weird. Um, Cupbearer can be pretty much anyone. Uh, you can take that one. You can wear some honorary turtles here. Um, are they oh, they're actually going to take some turtles now. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, there we are. And done. Awesome. So I imagine all of our vassals pretty much love us at this stage. I mean, besides the Japanese ones, obviously. They're probably not a big fan of us at all. Nice. No cooking vassals in this game. What we might do... I mean, we'll probably just seduce the vassals ourselves. We're going to go full... We're going to go full um, an attic run again. Follow him into the warm water. He already has a wife. I feel a bit... Oh, he's got good traits, though. Damn it. Uh, it will never happen. Sex appeal plus 10 is going to make our vassals like us a bit more. So that's a win-win as far as I'm concerned. Right, what happened to that dude that we were looking at? This guy... He likes us a little bit more now. If we send him another gift, we could uh, buy favor, buy to court. Where is he? We can't really go raiding either because he's quite far away. We just got to increase uh, general opinion, basically. Oh, he's zealous. That's annoying. That explains a lot. We might have had some more brilliant characters spawn in there. So let's just go and double check. Um, if we sort by anything but Marshall, it'll help us track down people who aren't just a brilliant strategist, though. Savant. Oh, what about this guy? Court chaplain. Send him a gift. Buy him a favor. It's court chaplain, though. Why did I do that? 
Who knows? So he won't accept because he is a, a court chaplain, like I said. That's annoying. Did it without thinking. I was just too excited to try and get a decent husband. Um... Savant is inheritable, but it's kind of the bad version of Brilliant, so we don't really want that if we can avoid it. Um, steward? God damn it. Commander! Oh shit, he is, he is actually a commander. Right, sold. Send him a gift, 36, buy a favor, come on. Yes, awesome, we've got one. Could kidnap him with the Devil Cult? Uh, do we even have access to that? Oh, we do, right. Um, instead, why don't we join the Hermetic Society and actually start writing a magnum opus. After that, we'll join the Ring of Honor, which is the martial base one, become a champion. That would be cool. Plus, that also gives uh, Sex Appeal plus 25, so all of our male vassals would love us if we did that. That'd be, that's a pretty good metagame strategy. I like this. Go on the full attractive run. All right, let's get this guy to our court. Invite to court and welcome aboard. He's our new husband. He's also got really good stats, so that's obviously going to increase our, our state stewardship pretty much. And all of, our, all of the other stats, but stewardship's the only one I really care about. Um, range marriage. Oh, let's get religious conversion. No. Excuse me. Um, well, let's marry him to start off with. Matrilineal, sold. Um, do you want to take the gold or the prestige? Probably the prestige, seeing as our gold's already looking pretty good. Yeah, 23 gold a month in 711. 771, sorry. It's really, really good. Uh, gonna have any named vassals? Absolutely. If you guys want to suggest names for, uh, for provinces, for baronies, for anything we can rename. Obviously, children as well. Where's the vampiric god werewolf dragon? No, this is the wrong campaign. Minus two combat skill while pregnant. Yeah, I mean, she's already pretty decent, though. She's got plus four because of brilliant. If we can get rid of passive and start picking up, you know, like, brave, things like that. No, wait, this isn't CK2+, plus, so we can't get a trained fighter. But besides that, you know, I think we can turn her into a decent character. Uh, do you want to search for a smith? We have an emperor level title. We need, what is it? I wrote a guide for this. Link's in the Discord if you're interested. What is it? It's a thousand gold plus um, 3.5 times our yearly income. So our yearly income right now is shit. So we're going to have to need, like, 2,000 gold to get the highest tier weapon. Why don't we do it early on when we haven't got anything else to worry about right now? We're not going into any big wars. We haven't got any enemies to worry about. Let's do it. Alright, um, I generally always go with the middle one here, because this one costs the most gold and is the most risky. And it's probably not worth... I, I think the risk versus reward, this one is definitely the best one in my opinion. 200 S turret knowledge is still a decent amount. No funds for you today. If you get rid of the doll trait, you won't have anything wrong with her. Yeah. Being pregnant, you should have plus four combat skills since you can use the baby. That's genius. Is this a new start? It is. Yeah, it's a fresh campaign. Brand new. We found it. There we go. Awesome. It's been pretty easy to turn knowledge there. Um, right, let's actually go and select the Hermetic Society here. We'll write a magnum opus probably on... I'm trying to think what would be the best one to start off with. Probably like Universal Panacea for the health so our rulers live longer. Um, probably wouldn't hurt. If not, maybe Transmutation for the, for the stewardship. Um, the Magnum Opuses are a bit hit and miss. Some are really bad, especially if you've got low learning, too. Toki Astrian. Is that a reference to Metalocalypse? <laughs> a Jewish courtier named Mish... Mish... Mishael of Jakar. Were there many Jews in... In, uh... In Japan at this point? Can't say. Last night's went to crap. Yeah, the last, uh, campaign we did was really, really bad. Right, let's give away the Duchy of Takai, then. Do this as much as possible. Now, we do want to probably, after we've done this, go for those, uh, go and search for a smith, like I said. There you go, you're welcome. Should probably find the vessel that likes us the most, right? But that's, again, I don't think it's entirely necessary at this stage, let's be honest. Right, Shikoku, let's find who likes us the most. We've got 57, 57. They're going to like us when we give them the stuff anyway. So, this guy's married, and he's also got an heir, so he's definitely winning me over here. Shikoku, there you go. Awesome. Uh, Kanto. Let's take a look. Anybody who's married... Oh, did he marry a Japanese woman? As long as their kid comes out Norse and Zoroastrian, you know, I really couldn't care. Right, um... Oh, not him. Hang on. Got the title. There we go. Kanto. And then we've got Kinai, which is ours. Uh, Sanyo. So we only need to make Sanyo and, uh... Hokuriku there. Are we still going for the Feminist Utopia? Absolutely. That's a really fun way of playing the game. Kind of overpowered, though, once you get attractive and things like that. Because the game is obviously very heavily favoured in, in terms of male rulers. Um, because it goes for the historical accuracy, I guess. Our council is not looking great. I'm going to be honest. I'll, I'll start looking for other councillors later on. I want to get the round dealt with first. Uh, what do we want to do then? Let's go search for that smith. Did we not already... I was going to say, did I not already fire that and he hasn't turned up still? Weird. Oh, didn't... Was there a mod that broke it? Somebody remind me. Was, was there not a mod that we... That completely, uh, fucked it up? Oh, that guy... What did we just inherit? Sorry. Oh, right. Down... All the way down here. Right, Sanyo. Uh, Sure. Here we go. If someone else can have that, then. Uh, Aki is married and has an heir. He might do. 
Um, this person's got 22 stewardship, so he's, he's winning. Sanyo. There we go. Awesome. And that's pretty good vassal management, I think. So we want to try and deal with this one, don't we? Just trying to think. What was, what was the problem with that? Um, no, wait. We want to we barony. Um, do I have religious conversion? No. We c again, we could just grant independence and declare war on him for later on. Um, tyrannical. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do that. Grant independence. Either wait for him to die, or we could kill him off and then declare war on the person that takes over for him. It's probably the quickest way to do it, to be honest with you. Vassal administration. Awesome. Uh, what mod is on? This is um, Umbra Sphere. Available on the Steam Workshop. Not to be confused with uh, the other mod that's... T uh, it's TOTP, but I can't remember what it's actually called. It's another full world map, but this one actually adds other provinces to play on. Alright, we're going to go break into Magus Kozel's lab. I need to... Um, what I need to do is actually bring up my own guide here so that I know how to do the... Uh... Let's just go ahead and move this window over. Hang on. I need to go ahead and find my own guide so that I know the best way to do it. If you're interested, it's all available on the Discord. But I've, I've, this is the one event chain I have written up is building the lab to the best method. Right, okay, got it. That'll help. It was not hard to locate Megas Kozel's laboratory. You distract them, I'll enter the lab. Oh, really? Only 60% chance. Ooh, this is risky. Um, should we steal his rarest ingredients and secret tomes? Has he actually got anything? He doesn't have anything. Um, focus will be maximum destruction. Let's just try and steal his ingredients. We might actually get something out of that a bit more beneficial. Oh, shit. We're in prison. What a fool. Well, that's the downside. I'm starting to think that this man might fancy me. No, not my type. Damn it. Now we're going to have to try and... Oh, no. He's our rival as well. Okay, so this is basically the worst outcome. Um, yeah, this is really, really bad. So this guy's now our rival, which means he's not going to ever ransom us, even if we can afford it because he has such a negative opinion. So we need to bribe him first and then ask to ransom him. That's only... Yeah, minus 100. I don't think we're going to be able to get out here, you know? Got to school tomorrow. Have a nice stream. Thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Oh, we're inheriting all our Yaldums back. God damn it. Who died? Uh, Tokai. Which one was Tokai? Is it this one here? Uh, no. Sanin, Shikoku, Kyushu, Tokai. Right, here you go. Um, minus 5. What about you? Oh, 87. Yeah. Uh, you win. Tokai. Council say no. Oh, that's great. That's, that's really good news. Make the handgun in the Hermetic Society. That is really, really useful. Right. Um, 56. Ransom prisoner. It's going to need 385 gold. Sure. I don't think he's actually going to say yes still. I maintain that. Nice. Okay. Sweet. We inherited a random barony somewhere. Oh, the one in our capital. That's cool. That's good to have. Uh, I can't help you find the Mother Brady Smith event, so I don't know your mod list. I think it is historical and fantastical artifacts. I don't think I've tweaked it in this mod pack. Um, I might just go ahead and turn it off quickly. Oh, he's actually offering us. Thank you very much. Awesome. Right. I was warning them for a second. Sometimes they just straight up will not let you get out. I've been in prison with that event for, for like decades before. Okay. Um, yeah, this is basically just the Mad World mod pack without um, some of the silly mods and also without Mythos, obviously. Right. We'll go for the business focus then. And we'll uh, try and get rid of Dull in that case. Special minor titles grantable. Designated regent. Basically, anybody who's not completely, completely in love with us, you'll do. Uh, Cupbearer. Is that a negative in this or not? No, it's plus five. All right, there you go. Um, just give away a bunch of titles again. I'm kind of surprised we haven't had as many uprisings as I was expecting, you know? Seeing as we are different religion, different culture to everybody in Japan. Do you do YouTube full-time or do you have another job? Right now, I'm just doing YouTube, to be honest. It's working pretty well, although I will probably try and find something else relatively soon. Um... Hold a feast. Search for Smith. Let's try again. Even if it does cost us the 2,000 gold. You know what? I'll take the cost and we'll just sit around and uh, wait for the business focus to pay it off. I don't think it's going to work though, is it? Oh, I'm with Child. That's good. Um, try this mod with Mythos for a mega series. That would be incredible, but I don't think it will work at all. I think it would actually just break the mod. Tr stressed. Oh, we can get rid of that. That's no problem. Alright. Um, what I'm going to do then... Let's just go ahead and save here. I'll go ahead and disable... Um, we'll go ahead and disable historical artifacts just so we can actually... <laughs> Norrestrian. Nice. Uh, just so we can actually search for our smith. An attic. Yes. Don't let me forget that. Doll is the best trait. I think you might be lying to me. Alright. Um, where is it? Historical and fantastical artifacts. It was turned on. I thought I turned it off to be honest with you. I turned off bibliophile as well because that mod is also pretty broken with this one. Okay, take two. 
already too much religion, it would break it all. I mean, the amount of difficulty I had trying to get CK2+, plus and, um, and, uh, Mythos 2 working was, was already a nightmare, I think this would be ridiculous. Like, this would be way too much. You can get the Persian, Persian Empire pretty easily. Well, I mean, we're going to be heading that way anyway, and we're going to want to try and get our uh, holy sites so we can reform the religion. So we'll probably just do that along the way, you know? The Roman Empire is a, is a ridiculously long-term goal. Like, we might not ever get it. That's not right. That's that's just not right at all. We don't need to uncheck the mod. You just need to delete the M&M artifact events one. Yeah, this is easier, though. I don't want to be messing around with mod packs midstream. I'll fix it for next time. For next time, we're uh, going to load in. Right, let's try and search for that smith again. How long have we got to wait? Um, 775, alright, just a year. That's fine. Doesn't Mythos have some problems not dying when combined with other mods? Mythos is full of problems everywhere. That is probably one of them. I haven't found it myself, but it has a lot of issues. It's generally just meant to be played by itself, because, you know, it is a total conversion, so that's understandable. And we had a brilliant daughter. That's a great start. Um, did we, did we take brilliant? So we had brilliant, and our husband had brilliant, so that kid had, like, a 60% chance of inheriting that. Um, she didn't get left-handed or fertile. A little bit of a shame, but that's fine. It's a good start. Asta. Um, what are we going to name our daughter? An Attical Riot. Shall I name our daughter An Attical Riot? Hellenic is the best way that if you restore the Roman Empire, you can restart the Roman paganism. Yeah, if you do that with CK2+, it's really, really good because you also get holy orders. You get different uh, religious branches as well. They've, they've really fleshed out a lot. Uh, it's added in part of a uh, mod called Ancient Religions. Name the child Zoroaster. Sold. That seems appropriate. I like that one. Alright, I must pray to Zervan. Uh, do we not have a... Oh, shit. Bag pregnancy? That could be a problem. There's no disease, is there? No. Oh, shit. Okay, that could be an issue. Conversions aren't ever being combined with other mods. So, yeah. I mean, it's not Mythos fault. I was asking a lot from it. And to be honest, it's worked really, really well, considering. Alright. Um, an attic, we need 10 years. And how long have we been playing? Like, 5 years now? Yeah, only another 5 years. Then we get true... Uh, all in agnatic, uh, all in enatic, sorry. Hard to break a habit of a lifetime. We'll also flip over to primogeniture because Gavakind is god awful. Flu? Why don't we place our bets? What's wrong with her? It's, go it's gonna be flu, probably. You must attempt to save my Zoroaster. Come on, you can do it. She came out really well. Yeah, awesome, right. So she probably will survive that now. It's very rare they actually die from being if they get a good treatment. Train her in thrift, because that's obviously the best one from what we found from lots of testing. We've still got that 20% fertility buff as well until this kid comes of age, so definitely want to stick with that. Alright, Smith, let's get you to court. I'm quite happy for this first character just to bring the round together, you know, focus on getting a good air, things like that. Not necessarily expanding too much, although we could focus on that, I suppose, now. We've, we've, we've got a very stable ram, I think. Um, so what have we got then? Sanin. Oh, we actually get, accidentally gave away this province as well. Not a big deal, though. Um, we can kill these guys off if we really want to. In fact, let's start doing it. Uh, key... You can die. Again, like I said, once we've killed one person once, it doesn't matter how many people we kill. As long as we wipe out their entire dynasty so they don't have a negative opinion of us. Uh, let's go ahead and write a theorem paper and acquire ingredients as well. Um, animal parts are pretty useful. Gain rate ambitious. Yeah, sweet. Let's go for that. 10% chance. Shit, I thought we got it then. We are committed. Let's do it. Get a son and marry them to Zoroaster. Absolutely. Zoroaster was the founder of Zoroastrianism. That seems appropriate. We're the founder of Zoroastrianism in Japan. The Japanese branch. I'll uh, just have to try again. That's fine. Doesn't matter too much. Those things are death traps. Luckily, because everyone loves us, any murder plots we want to do is, is going to be pretty easy and pretty straightforward. Right. Can I have this province back now? Thanks. To Mistress Chuko. Ch Ch Chukyo. My sister. I have a proposal which might interest you. Some lost domestic writings. Yeah, sure. Okay. Some of these parts prove useful. Nice. We got three animal parts. That's, that's pretty much the best outcome we can get from that. We got some beautiful new eyeballs. A beautiful new liver. And some beautiful new antlers. We just want to vary that event up. So each time we want to do like marketplace hunting, that type of thing. We want to we want to cycle through them. Oh no, that poor child. We want to get this lamb back as well. Oh, he's already had two kids. Damn, he's been busy. Seek treatment for illness. And we can perform a sky barrel. Who for? Did somebody die that we were related to? I mean, we'll do it because we get, we get uh, piety for it. So absolutely we'll do that. Uh, health point 0 0.25, not too bad. To the east. The big black land in the east. Yeah, we will. will. Zoro would be a fit name for your firstborn son. That's really good. Did you know modding a game to is typically a bad idea st for stability? Yeah, weird that. The roads just aren't safe anymore. At least it's not quite Skyrim level. Um, our husband has great pox. I'm quite happy to try and get kind because it's going to make our vassals like us even more than they already do. We didn't get it, but that's fine. We don't want to upset our husband either because he's got, you know, brilliant. Alright, he's dead. Let's go ahead and 
get the rest of our land here. These plots are firing really, really fast. Like, even if we've got 300% plot power, they are really firing fast. Um, Hotter Grand Tournament. Again, I'd rather save it. Where's our smith? We still haven't got a smith yet. Do you think something else is broken? Or did I not Did I not actually press the button last time? It's still 775, so maybe I just didn't do it. Alright, let's send out our paper. Now, seeing as we are dull and have mediocre learning, I can't imagine this is going to go too well. That guy approved. Well, that's one out of five. Good start. Two out of five. Sweet. Not good enough. Come on. Yeah, three out of five. There we go. We've done it. Awesome. Thank you very much. Right. That's off to a good start. That's going to increase our learning a little bit. Anyway. Turning Zoroastrianism Astrum into a Japanese religion is perfectly reasonable. Can't argue with that. Learning plus two. Awesome. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. What else we got here? Hologram tournament. Search for a smith. That's actually... There we go. Right. A weapon smith. The forge me a deadly weapon. So this is going to cost us genuinely like 3,000, 4,000 gold based on our monthly balance. So it's yearly income times... Uh, it's times 3.25 or something like that. So that's going to cost us like 1,200 gold to start off with. We're going to be looking about 2,000... Just over 2,000 gold here. Weaponsmith, the Forge Mirror. Deadly weapon. Let's do it. So what we've got to do... So we get one point for starting the event. I've written this up all in the, in the file. We get one point for starting the event. We need 23 points um, for the laboratory building event. So when can we actually do that? Can we not do that already? I thought you could just do it when you join the Hermetic Society. Maybe we need the mission first. All right, let's not worry about them. All right. Possible to rank up. Let's do it. Brew a potion of eudaimonia. That, so that will actually let us get rid of uh, stressed, which we should probably do straight away. Invite the weaponsmith. So the only way we can get the highest tier is if we say to the marshal that we're willing to give him an extra thousand gold. Next playthrough, play as Ulster in Ireland, rename it to IRA, then raid everywhere. That sounds like it wouldn't be a bad idea at all, and definitely not divisive. <laughs> um, let's go with the sword. The sword's always good. Uh, unless we want to go for a particular troop type. Lance is probably best in the very, very long run. Uh, just when we want to focus on, like, a full cavalry build. What's our what's our cultural retinue of Zoroastrianism? House cars? Oh, we're Norse, aren't we? Silly me. Uh, we could just go full berserkers. So, yeah, actually, let's go um, let's go heavy foot troops. Awesome. Not to go into battle, but anything but the very best. Nice. Let's do that one. And then, again, we need to pay 1,000 gold for the extra ingredients. I don't know if we need the 1,000 gold first, though. That's the only problem. Let's wait and see. Another child? Go raid. You're genius. Um... Oh, my daughter became brawny immediately. Hey, that's awesome. Especially because she's sickly. Thank you, Valdemar. Uh, go raid. You are, a, you are a genius man. All right. Fleets. Do we have many fleets? We do. Right. Let's go ahead and just put the troops somewhere where I can actually see them rather than somewhere that's super convenient. Right. We'll do, uh, we'll do that for now. Oh, yeah. All right. Put the troops back down. Uh, let's get our boats over here. Where should we go raid then? Have we got... Uh, I mean, coastal... Oh, Korea is coastal. Korea's capital is coastal there. Anyone with good amount of cash wouldn't hurt. So, Korea's capital. Oh, China is really rich. Look at that. They're, like, insanely rich. That's really good for us. Fine by me. All right. Um, I really don't want to see the navies too much in the uh, in the outliner there. I feel better. Nice. That's good. So, we do want to brew that potion. What do we need for that? It's like, uh, we need 150 esoteric knowledge. That's it. Okay, well, that'll be in no time at all. And we can't do anything special. Three turtles available. We do need to make those as well. But, you know, I'll save up for our, for our weapon first. Nice. We can actually afford to keep our boats raised at all time as well. Uh, I can rest in heaven. Games trait depressed. 20% chance of getting diligent. Again, we can get rid of this with the uh, with the potion. Shit, we just got depressed out of that. That's a bit of a shame. Um, sure. I'll support your peculiar traditions. You weird Japanese people. That's that's the character saying that. I'm voicing the character. I'm not, I'm not being racist. Right, um, we don't have enough boats. We, we don't have nearly enough boats. Holy shit. Um, alright. Well, let's just get as many as we can on the boat then. Um, I guess split his armies up pretty small. There we go. That's just about the maximum on that boat now. Right, let's go visit Korea. We'll put the rest of the troops down. We'll just have like a, a standing raiding party. Right. Hello, Korea. Raid China. Raid Rome. We can go halfway across the world. It's a real shame, because normally I'd raid Rome playing as Norse to get the Bones of St. Peter, which you can then send to China for the bonuses. Okay, we didn't get the option. I think it's because we didn't have enough gold. But you know what? Tier 3 is fine. Call it Faux Hammer. Gandalf would be proud. Alright, we're here for your... Uh, we'll, we'll actually try and siege down, obviously, because we get the most gold out of that as well. Beautiful new The Faux Hammer. Oh, we actually got that equipped. That's really cool. Marshal plus one. Personal combat plus two. Well, that cancels out being pregnant, at least. Thanks, Mace. They're going to try and stop us. Do you think they'll actually... Sub They're taking a river crossing into 
almost the same amount of troops. Depending on composition, they might win it. But we've got, you know, a pretty decent amount of heavy infantry here. Plus, definitely better commanders, I think. Um, 15, 16, 20. Why did they do that? Why did you do that? More people for me to ransom. Sweet, free gold. Daughter called Ilva. She got left-handed. Into the river with you. Into the river. What are we going to name shit, daughter? Any takers. <laughs> Can't believe that. That one actually just got left-handed. That's unbelievable. Hydrate. Claim daughter hydrate if we want. And while we're deciding on a name, I'm actually going to let people in the Discord know that I am streaming. Dead kid? <laughs> That's a bit tragic. She needs to marry a son. Name her Waste of Space. Oh my god. We could name her... Uh, why weren't you... Uh, why weren't you born male? Perfect. I must pray to Ormzad. I feel like we, we, we kept a nice theme there, you know, being just about kill later. Alright. We'll kill her off. Do we need to kill her off? I mean, we are gavel kind, so actually, yeah. Jokes aside, we do kind of need to kill her off. Um, why are we ill constantly? What is wrong with this woman? Okay, let's brew that potion now. Um, we still don't have enough as knowledge. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Gold for me. Ask for 10 gold. Sure. Gold for me. Yes, there we go. Right, how much do we actually grab then? 68 gold. Nice. That's off to a good start. And again, sieging cities is going to be much better. We've got gout of all things. Christ. As long as you know what you're doing, please don't kill me. I've only got gout. Barbecue meat. You need a sword called the Glandring and give it to Gandalfa. Come on, temples. We've received a beautiful new pouch of spices for sieging down that temple. Of all the things to steal. Wasn't expecting that. Um, I'll deal with that later. These people want to buy our patch of spices. Absolutely. Help me get out of this crippling, crippling debt. Awesome. Hey, that's off to a good start. We might as well move to the South Province because that is on a trade post. So, um, let's hit that one up too. Damn, I feel like we're going to be really overpowered being able to raid. Especially with all these rich provinces nearby and all these trade routes. We might have broken the game. <laughs> all we need is more boats. And we can actually genuinely siege down these places so, so fast. Right. That's what we're going to invest in then. We're going to take our our gold we make here and invest it back into boats. So this is going to have to be our uh, our capital boat, unfortunately. Um, castle shipyard, galleys plus six. Sold. We're going to make it an absolute fortune from this. I'll pay for the translation. Uh, sure. What's this event? Can't say I recognize it off the top of my head. Weird. Siege of Olsen. Oh, look at how much gold we're making. This is unbelievable. Our boats are almost full already. I can understand you raiding England is too easily. Your debt may be crippling, but it's only a fraction of student loans. Tell me about it. If I need to compare my real life student loans to my CK2 money. Ooh, the plus two axe. Nice. I mean, we can't really do much with it because we've already got the foe hammer, but that's kind of nice just to add to the collection. Marshall plus two. I suppose. When, when would that ever be useful? Um, I mean, leading troops in battle and not getting any battlefield jewels would be slightly better, but I mean... No, because it's still heavy foot for troops plus 10%. It's never going to be useful. It's just kind of nice to have around though, isn't it? We give it away as a gift to bribe, you know, potential husbands and stuff. To be dream. Thank you for tuning in. How, how's it going? Trying to rename the province to boats? Brilliant. Again, if you guys have got any good province names, let me know. I'm always up for uh, renaming province in the serious playthrough. That's fine by me, even if it is silly. Casa, we're going to name you uh, Casa Kakaka. We're going to name you Casa... Uh, D-Boat. Awesome. Casa del Boat? I don't know much Spanish, but that sounds more Spanish to me, so that's what I'm going with. I also know which province we can actually get our boats from now. So that's tactical. Can't even argue with that. Blackmail the Vassal. Uh, sure, we'll get some leverage on them. What are our factions looking like right now? Nothing, because our vassals love us, and there's a good reason for that. Right, let's brew this potion. Lose the trait stressed and depressed instantly. Thank you very much. Um, I might just combine the two to make the potion even better. Sure. Why not? Gives it more chances of success. There we go. Hey, I can't believe that worked. That was awesome. Nice. Tech points as well. Great. Uh, legalism level 2. What do we think? Medium centralization. Religious control mandate. That's what I'm really after here. That's going to let us obviously revoke those titles. How long until we can do that? Uh, title revocation. We need um, to wait till 781. So three more years. Rename them to Swedish provinces. That sounds awful. Rename the Swastika province to Mindfuhrer. What the hell is the Swastika province? You mean this one here? 
Wait, what is the swastika bomb? That's a very good point. You know, random... Oh, this guy. Of course, because we gave him a land away, so we can actually declare war on him. Yeah, I remember. We need to... Somebody remind me to grab that... Grab that holding back. Um, we are at truce with him still, because we must have failed to kill him. Uh, 782. Yeah, okay. Let's actually try and kill this man again. Oh, because no one's joined the plot, because he's obviously in a court by himself, sort of in an isolated little castle somewhere. All right. Well, I guess we've paid for our armor. Um, we might as well dock the boats there and actually just carry on raiding permanently forever. Damn, that was 480 prestige, just like that. Holy shit. All right, back out to sea with you then. Um, where's next? Where's worth raiding? They've got a decent amount of gold there as well, so we might as well just move along the Korean coast here. And then once we've done with that, because there's not anywhere particularly right, I suppose this province isn't bad. We'll move to China next, just because every single one of their provinces is worth raiding. There's only a few exceptions to that. Enactic, thank you very much. Let's work on that. Um, have we still not ruled for 10 years? Wow, we actually haven't. That's all we need, though. How much longer have we got to wait? Nine years. Okay. We've got to wait one more month. We've done it. Okay, let's get full aid attic then. Um, reset. No. I was waiting for at least ten years. There we go. Right, it's woken up. Uh, true an attic. Sold. Now, has that pissed off our vassals who are all men? Um, maybe? Outraged. Upset by succession law change. Okay, that's fine. Minus ten. Not a problem. Want to see it on the council? Yeah, I can't do much for you there. Roman law. We don't have Roman law, do we? Uh, no. Oh, on the kingdom. On the kingdom. Right, there we go. Problem solved with that. Okay. Best part about raiding China and Korea is that your boats are already close to home. Yeah, I mean, it's this is ridiculously overpowered. Especially because even though we're on the whole world, I mean, getting from our capital to China is literally one sea province away, more or less. We've just got to cross by over this one, and then we're there. That's it. So... Unlike, even even in the base game with Scandinavia, you know, it seems about quite a distance to actually get to the UK. In this, because they've condensed it down so, so much, it's kind of a bit unbalanced. Oh, we're getting a bit depressed. Um, oh, because the potion failed. Right, got it. Okay, well, we'll just drink another one later on. Samo, 91, thank you for following. Appreciate it. All right, University in Vienna. Again, we want to found our own university later on. Rename Hong Kong to Skyscraper. Genius. <laughs> it's inspired. I just watched the movie. Oh. What, the one with, the, is that Dwayne the Rock Johnson where he's jumping off a, uh, off a helicopter or something and then he's clearly not going to land actually on the skyscraper at all? Uh, Burn the Apostate. He seems like kind of a nice guy. Um, Lucifer's own. Oh. Well, you know what? That's your own fault, really. I don't think we're actually going to get this plot to succeed because we have no backers unless we can bribe his, this... His wife? Yeah, it is his wife. We're just going to have to wait for the truce to end. It's not a problem. Right, how's the rating going? How many... Tr oh, we're already up to 205 gold just from uh, actually assaulting or sieging down the provinces there. Sweet. Retinues would do a lot for us. Because we just have permanent retinues, march them around, send the boats back and forth. We actually don't have to worry about raising and lowering troops because retinues will reinforce as they're there. Right, should we search for another smith while well, we've got a shit ton of gold and get, actually get some jewels to boost up our vassal opinion a little bit more just in case we do get a bit of a succession issue? Oh my god, we haven't been educating my child. Why did no one remind me? You fools. Um, our daughter's depressed, but she's brawny, so they do cancel out. I can't believe she got brawny. She's better than us already. Right, assign guardian. Um, let's take a look. Oh, this guy's... Oh, this guy's incredible. This guy's legitimately incredible. Patient, diligent, ambitious, charitable. Okay, absolutely. 100% that guy is educating our child. Can you get ninjas? Unfortunately not, but I don't mind. Uh, in between, before next room, I will mod in a custom retinue if you want. We'll give ourselves a ninja retinue. What's the name of the mod for this map? It's Umbra Sphere. Uh, I'll type it in the chat just because you, uh... Just because it's a bit of a pain in the ass to spell. There you go. That's what it's called. You need panda retinues? That would be incredible. It's rather than glitter if we just got a panda in this one. Bandits have ready the siege camps, killing many of the soldiers. This is exactly why we need retinue. Speaking of which, what's our retinue cap right now? Only 4,000. Okay, and really not worth investing in yet. Okay. <laughs> One and all shall see the indisputable might of House Inbred. Spare no expenses. Well, let's, let's get these boats docked, because I think we do need a 1,000 gold kicking around to be able to get the best jewels. Are we going to be able to do that in time, I wonder? We might just manage it if these, uh, if these temples and uh, holdings have a decent amount of gold. Um, we could also boat more troops over so it goes quicker. Might not be a bad idea. Um, lots of people, lots of food. Good, because that will have a chance at, uh, removing depressed. Alright, let's actually raise our troops and just boat some more guys over. 
No prop. It's a, it's a really good mod. Very well made. There's a mod very similar. I don't know what it's called off the top of my head. The abbreviation is TOTP. So if you type that into Steam Workshop, you should be able to find it. Um, Shinto Rebels. Oh, shit. Oh, they actually spawned on top of our army. Not the smartest idea there, Shinto Rebels. Um, no funds for you guys. And we'll go ahead and offer peace there. We'll probably ransom some prisoners off while we're just trying to get as much gold as we can very, very quickly. There we go. It's not going to be a huge amount, but better than nothing. All right, let's get you guys on the boats. Uh, looted of zero because we didn't have any boats there. You know what? It's worth it just to be able to do it quicker later on. Right. Um, let's just merge it, split it. There we go. Nice. Right, let's get these guys over helping. We could have just left one boat behind, I suppose, but, you know. That's crazy talk. That's way too... Oh, God, I didn't mind those raiders every time. Right. Luckily, we've got... <laughs> can't believe that actually counted for long enough to get some score from the raid there. That's ridiculous. Holy shit. Um, well, I wasn't expecting that so quickly. She died of gout, of all things. All right, then. She was often unfaithful to her husband. That's not true at all. What are you on about? Okay, well, um... Congratulations, we're now a five-year-old girl. Well, I mean, we were only raiding anyway, so five-year-old girls are pretty suited to raiding. In the sense that we're not going to be able to do anything else but raid at this point. I can't believe that. That's ridiculous. Holy shit, what a quick death. Well, that's CK2, I suppose. Oh, I did mark those raiders. You fool. Right, back to Korea. Uh, what, a, what about our crown jewels? I don't think that's actually going to go through, is it? We're going to have to summon another smith. That's annoying. Oh, well. Um... Alright, let's go ahead and pick these guys up. Let's actually move them down so they can just hop over the boats rather than moving the boats over. Alright. I we need to move these guys over to the next province as well. We'll start raiding China in a second. Alright, looters. Oh, the boats. But we actually just don't have enough boats at all. We can raise eight more boats. Four more boats. Awesome. That's enough boats. No, it's not seven men too many. Does that mean the money for the smith goes to waste? Yep, that's gone forever. A little bit unfortunate, but it also happens if the smith dies as well. It's just a just game balance, I guess. It's kind of like a, well, tough luck, unfortunately. You know, just one of those things that happens. Okay, well, all that time and effort basically spent getting the vassals to like us means they're probably not going to like us as much anymore. The opinion of predecessor should still be pretty good. Um, sort by opinion here. Uh, it's not great. It's not great. We still have a lot of Japanese vassals that obviously don't like us, but those guys will flip over time. Get Casadel boat back. Um... We do have Castadel boats still, apparently. Oh, it's part of our... Yeah, it's part of our Dijon one. What we want to do is actually get this duchy back. But unfortunately, it's under our sister right now. We're going to have to kill her off, unfortunately. Um, that's fine. We'll kill her off later on. At least we got a sword crafted. That's... Or, or that, the faux hammer. At least we got that crafted. You know what? This character's going to be really, really good. Look. She's already got 10 martial and she's 6 years old. I mean, what did our last character have? 18? Obviously, a little bit more with all the, the bonuses. But I think she's well on her way to becoming a much better character. And she's only 6 years old, so... Let's get ourselves some funds. Right. Let's actually spend some money on upgrading the boats and seeing as we still don't have enough boats for our for our people here. Um, have we got any other coastal provinces at all? I don't think we do. Oh, this one is coastal, just about. Uh, castle shipyard. Sold. And what about this one? Maybe fishing port gives galleys plus two. It's not a lot, but it's better than nothing, I guess. All right. Uh, we need shipbuilding level two. That also probably wouldn't hurt. Worry about that later on, though. I forgot we're sort of planning the first start date, so it's going to take ages to actually build these buildings up. Two from the ten marshals plus two axe. Yeah, very true. Okay, that's a good point. Wait, wait, you can equip plus two axe as a child? Um, hmm. Yeah, you know what? Why not, eh? Right, so we need to actually find someone to marry now. It's a little bit annoying. Can we... Wait, was Zoroastrian? Should marry your father? Obviously. What a fool. <laughs> Does that actually work? Uh, arrange betrothal between our father and us. Yep. There we go. Sacred Union as well. Excellent. I feel like this is a great start to the campaign. Right. Um, no fleet levy still. Gotta wait for those boats to be built. At least we can keep raiding in the meantime. What is this? Umbrasphera. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Sorry. I'm trying to keep an eye on chat as much as possible, but I'll turn the speed down a little bit so I can actually, you know, read the chat and not have to worry about everything going wrong. We just need a few more boats. Stop reinforcing. Damn it. Um, it's bedtime, but I can't find my favorite toy. Uh, do we want to make our guardian like us a bit more? What happened to our other guardian? You know, the one that was actually really, really good. Apparently disappeared. Uh, oh no, here he is. Right, Bercy, you're back in charge. 
Do we want Fossey? Um, not if we're going for a martial education, no. In fact, if we're going for martial education, a struggle is just much, much better. Um, Fossey isn't great. I'm going to say I'm a big girl now. All right. We, we dragged this lady out of the hole, apparently. Uh, more prisoners to ransom off, though. Hey, that's pretty good. My god, we're getting so much gold. Like, not only do we have a really, really good base tax level, like, plus 20 monthly gold at, at 781 is, is incredibly good, but we've also got all these promises we can just repart. Like, watch this. Assault. We're not going to lose a huge amount. We lost 100 men, but we got 50 gold out of it instantly. This is pretty over overpowered, I'd say. All right. Um, let's go to China. We have to lead some troops in Korea for a bit, unfortunately. Um, just because we don't have any boats at all. Right, what should we start with? Where's a, where's a good place? Oh my god, they've all got so much gold. Just start here and work our way around, I guess. At least when we're actually in China, we can just move around the entire province and just have boats on the coast, shipping gold back and forth. Nice, let's do it. In fact, we could just march the troops up from Korea, genius. Save ourselves a little bit of time. Right, drop you guys off. Welcome to China. No funds for you. That's from the, from the Trade League mod. Um... I rarely give them funds. I probably should do that more because they can invest it back into the provinces and make them, you know, give us a decent amount of bonuses from it. All right, split you guys off. Can't believe we're going to have to take this load of troops in two goes. That's ridiculous. You're a big girl, such holy prophet now. Oh, that's a lot of Chinese guys. Oh, shit. They caught us there as well. <sighs> well, you guys retreat and you guys retreat as well. Not that they're going to be able to because there isn't enough room on the boat. It's a little bit annoying. Oh, well. We've got 4,900 men on 43 boats. We've broken the game. Okay, China might be a bit strong to raid at this stage. Um, I suppose if we just do hit and run tactics, it might not be too bad. And we just got kind of unlucky because they already had troops kicking around in that province. Right, there we go. Go for the economy map mode before I go blind. Uh, eyeballs? He wants to buy our eyeballs. Sold. Right, let's keep an eye on this. Make sure they don't grab us when we're not paying attention. Splitting the boats in two so you can constantly have them ship over gold is pretty good if you're raiding long distance. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. One boat fill up with gold. Ship them back. It also means that these guys can stay there and siege down provinces while the other boats are delivering the gold for us. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and have you guys join in with that just so we're sieging down provinces quicker. Might that make them less likely to actually attack our troops as well if we've just got one big doom stack. Let's get our best commanders just in case they do suddenly pop a bunch of troops on top of us. Awesome, right. Let's uh, split our fleet. Sweet. This is a pretty great start. Okay. I'll start investing in more boats then. Uh, plus two galleys. Is there a... You know what? We should be investing in other things to start off with. Let's be reasonable here. You know what I'm going to say. Flogi's tech mod. It's just too powerful not to invest in this early on. Can we have better... Oh. This guy's incredible. Oversea construction. That's going to build instantly, surely. 95 days, really. We still don't have that incredibly good build modifier. Suppose we haven't been playing too long. The Duchy of Hokuriku. Um, that's ours, isn't it? I didn't want to make Duchy titles for ourselves because of, obviously, you know, the gavel kind of situation. Um, what have we not got here? Kinai, Sanin, Hokuriku. Um, which one do we want to give away? So Sanin is the one... What Duchy have you got? Did she take our... Oh, she took that Duchy. Oh, God. She's a really powerful vassal then. You should conquer Korea. If we can... Yeah, I agree. We absolutely should. Just to buff up our troops a little bit. Um, we might have to do a lot of holy wars, though, but I guess it wouldn't hurt too much. We might as well holy war and get it on cooldown. Nothing for you today. Oh, right, there's the troops. Time to leave. Our troops are dead. Rest in peace. Well, this gives us a good excuse to stop raining for a while and at least go and attack Korea, I suppose. Dangerous factions? Excuse me? What have we got here? Uh, increased council power. Oh, I suppose they are abolished, aren't they? Um... Would you like some gold? You guys probably just want a decent amount of gold, I guess. I should hopefully kill that off. Um, excuse me? There we go. Right. Let's go ahead and conquer Korea, then. Plenty of gold. Thank you very much. Now, how many men have they got compared to us? We've got 1,900 men. We might have to wait for our levies to recharge a little bit. Retinues? Probably worth getting some berserkers? Yeah, let's get some berserkers. Why not? Those guys have really good attack value, but nothing else, basically. Alright, let's send our boats down. Um, boats? This is this is the one problem with this mod, is that if you're trying to click on particular boats, not gonna happen. Chat dead feels bad, man. 
Yeah, it's probably because I didn't announce it on YouTube like I did yesterday. I need to announce it in videos in advance when I'm actually going to stream at the start of videos. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll make a habit of doing that. Either that or it's a case of streaming on YouTube Gaming. <clears throat> Which I'm not sure I, I like the idea of, to be honest with you. It seems a bit weird to me. Right, let's let our Berserkers build up. Is this guy... Can we actually declare war on this dude now? We can, as long as our council approve it. They're going to say yes. Oh, they are sweet. Right. Let's go ahead and grab our holding back here that this guy's uh, stolen illegally. <laughs> Moving over to the capital. Um, right, so if we're going for martial education... Let's go for uh, Rowdy or Willful is fine. Do we get What do we get? Oh, we actually got Rowdy. Rowdy's the better one. Second, we can Brave. Oh, oh, sorry. Brawny. Shit. We wanted the other one. We've already got Brawny. My brain betrayed me. I remembered that, I remembered that it was the best one, just not that we'd already got that best result. Uh, give her funds. Nothing for you today. Let's merge our troops. All right. And now we sit and we get ourselves a free castle. YouTube streaming, please no. Yeah. I mean... Apparently, there's a method of streaming to both at the same time using a third-party platform, but I need to look into it and see if it's actually um, see if it's actually trustworthy for the main thing. That's what, what I'm kind of worried about. Can't wait for the plague to spread. Tasty dead Zoroastrian North Japanese folks in the streets. Shh. Shh. We don't have to worry about that yet. All right. Um, what do we need for early castle? We need improved keeps level 2, construction level 2, noble customs level 2, and siege equipment level 2. All of which are going to take us absolutely ages. Let's get our spy master doing something useful then. Uh, he must be our regent, I suppose. Yeah, he is. All right. Um, over to China's capital, I suppose. Uh, one, twelve, six. We want to get construction just to start off with here. Oh, all of China has equal tech points. Okay, fair enough. So it doesn't matter where, actually where we send them at all. YouTube doesn't have a horrible streaming service. It's not as good as Twitch. Yeah, the, the issue with it is is that all of the audience is over at YouTube, though, and I don't think many people actually followed on Twitch when I announced it. So, I mean, it'll be a slow migration, but it will happen eventually. we just got to keep going with it, you know? All right, troops down. So that our retinues reinforce. We can actually invest in some more retinues here. Can we get the bodyguard building at this point, or do we need... Oh, we need the medium cast domicile before that. It's going to take a long time before we can actually get the decent uh, togis, togis fleck buildings. That's the second time I've said that now. Should I be worried? Alright, I'm going to get the corn farm because that eventually becomes a corn mill. The corn mill is very, very good in terms of uh, tax and bonuses that it gives. What about you? What can we get here? Any boats? No, I guess we'll go to Castle Town for taxes then. Probably work on my own domain a little bit more here. Um, Castle Town. Already got one. Corn farm. Again, taxes. Taxes are probably good to start booning this early on. Um, corn farm again. Oh, we can get rid of that one. We can get rid of the temple. Sweet. There we go. All right. Uh, Toba? What do you want in Toba? Oh, we're out of gold. Raiding? Togi's Fleck Buildings as county names? <laughs> okay. All right. Sold. Um, we, we already had a name for our capital, right? I can't remember what we were going to call it now. Uh, Togi's Fleck Buildings. Is that going to fit? Ooh, just. I'm going to call this one uh, Togi's Castle. Just so we can remember which one it is in the outliner, basically. Awesome. We've got Casa del Boat, Togi's Castle. You've got to green screen your face into the top left corner. Does anybody realistically want to see my face? Anybody thinking corn in Asia in the 8th century? The native Japanese people call it maize. Alright, Marshall. Uh, I need you to make my retinues not cost so much money. Minus 16%, not very good. We do need to work on the council, but as we're still on the ridge, we can't really do much about that at this stage, unfortunately. 12 Marshall at the age of 8. Looking to be better than a mother, I will be honest. Do we have incest and incest yet? We're married to our father. I think that, that should be self-evident. Hold a feast. Let's make the vassals like us. I imagine we're still in the positive gold, even though our retinues are costing us a small fortune. Oh, it's only five gold a month. Who cares? Lose ten gold. Let's get the vassals on side early on. You know, we don't want to risk those those factions. And we did raise vassal levies too long. Oh, shit. We're of the government type that that's affecting us, eh? Hmm, that's a little bit annoying. Princess, why weren't you born male of Dororastrian? Nice. Wincest and Incest is the president's name. Right, got it. Yes, I remember now. Um, lavish stone food. So Yamashiro will call uh, Incest. And we'll call the capital Wincest. How about that? I like to do things like this anyway, just because it helps me keep track. Like, we know we want to, if we want to build boats quickly, we click on this one, and then we, we're already there. Especially in this mod where it's quite difficult to click on particular provinces that are really, really small, and hidden behind giant flags. Really not helping out. I hereby invite you to... This guy said no. He likes us by 69. A 
appropriate. Uh, this guy said no because he's Japanese. That is actually understandable. Um, we need to go on a bit of a religious rampage at some stage as well. I think we should probably be converting. Um, are you our religion? No, we've got a Shinto priest in our court. That explains a lot. He's Zoroastrian. Oh, that's our dad. Huh. Okay, well, you start proselytizing then. Can't believe we've got to do that of all things. Next to Madagascar, there are four islands you can barely click on. I've got to see this. Um, oh, no, wait, these four? Holy shit, that's insane. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. I think that would have been better as one province. Just a thought there. And then I like the fact that there are these two massive islands next to it with no provinces at all. Well, the Maldives are a little more fleshed out, I suppose. Oh, God, they look like a bunch of bunch of sea sphincters. Damn, that's going to get me banned from Twitch. We're trying to conquer them. We need to click four times to get to the right island. Yeah, I can believe that. This mod used to be a lot, lot worse. Don't worry. I've been reading a lot lately, and you've taken up the protagonist of many stories as your hero. Um, he was a great conqueror. Absolutely. Or she was a great conqueror. Maybe more appropriately. We need an area for everyone's favorite anti-Semitic Diz Waltney. Is Diz Waltney anti-Semitic? I don't remember that. Oh, wait, I remember. It was the Hurricanes or something like that, wasn't it? He blamed it all on the Jews. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, we do want Willful. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't get Willful, but we did want Willful. That's a little bit annoying. Oh, well. Corn Farm has been built. Awesome. Uh, I think that's the province of Winters now, isn't it? So we want to build a uh, Corn Mill. What do we need for that? Corn Farm level 2, Trade Practices level 3, Construction level 3. That's going to take a while to get to. Can we steal tech points? Can we, can we raid for tech points? That's it. That's a joke before somebody in the comment section. I made a joke the other day and somebody slighted me over it. I think I said it was in the last stream, actually. I said that, as we know, by this stage, Australia and Native America were uninhabited wastelands. And somebody corrected me in the comments like, uh, actually, I think you'll find that there were Aborigines and Native Americans. I did know that. That was, that was a joke. Wait, willful? Yeah, yeah, willful. Um... As in the trait that's not bad. Horsey is the bad one that you can get from the martial education. Willful's the good one. Willful is the one that actually becomes brave. Uh, willful as in W-I-L-L-F-U-1-L rather than two L's. Hey, tech points. Speaking of which, um, what is it we want to focus on? Probably construction this early on, I guess, just because it unlocks every building in the world. Should we, should we name a province Diz Waltney as a shout-out? Otsu. All right, we name o Omi... Uh, We'll name that The Mouse. I will call the actual castle Diz Waltney. Diz uh, Waltney. His legacy will live on. Uh, I'm completely the wrong game, but it will live on. Ban that person from life? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's hard to know when people are being sarcastic on the internet. <clears throat> Can we play? This is all from the childhood event mod, by the way. I've actually got it enabled in this one rather than the, uh, the Mythos 2 mod pack. Because I think it might just break everything if we try and enable anything else with that one. We're still depressed. Why are we depressed? I don't remember how we got that. Oh well, sure it's not important. Hold another feast. Absolutely. Let's get our vassals on side a little bit more. You'd be perfect for my feast, and we should probably spend some gold, or at least go raiding it. And our retinues are fully reinforced. There's no reason not to at this point. Um, guess we won't be impressed. We've got nine thousand men. Let's take out Korea. Korea, your days are numbered. Um, we can't holy war them. Oh, because we're a child, right, idiot? Um, <laughs> I guess we'll wait then. Never mind. We could take this Dejour land, though. We can definitely do that. Yeah, Dejour claim on... Oh, we could Holy War it. So, hang on. Let's just take into a... Let's give a rough head count of the troops. That's 800 there. 1,000 there. Okay, so we're looking at 2,300. Um, 2,800. Just over 3,000 men across all of these islands. They're all the same religion, so if we Holy War, they'll probably call each other in. But with our retinues alone, we can probably still win that. Seeing as they're 2,000 Berserkers, that's pretty cool. Um, you could change your dynasty now, by the way. Good plan. Uh, dynasty shield, that is. Alright, what we want to do is we want to change the style to, um, East Bantu. Sold. I'm going to go party per cross. Awesome. This is what I've been looking forward to. Right, let's go ahead and get something pretty good there. I, my, my favorite ones are like, I was just about to say, like the leg of an eagle. That's always a good one. Uh, let's go for... Ooh, that one's pretty nice. Wait, wait, wait no, that one. That one's pretty nice. Uh, we'll go for... All the ones that are generally a little mismatched. That one's good with the half cut there. Any that have got three colors in particular are nice. We, we need another like another animal or something. We got another animal on this side instead. Um, there we go. That's good. Okay, let's fix the colors. 
This is a work of art already. <laughs> oh god, what a mess. You know what? Those colors are complementary, so I don't like that at all. Let's fix that. Um, get a nice... Uh, yeah, that's horrible. That, that, was, that was more horrible, I think. Uh, the black and white works as well. A bit, bit too well. Um, orange. Orange will do. Orange and... Light blue. Sold. And let's get our emblem done as well. Let's go for... Uh, let's go for the... The griffin? Is that supposed to be a griffin? I think so. Let's go for the fish. Where was the fish? Yeah. And where's the duck that we had last time? He's my favorite. I'm really glad that we're spending time and effort on this. YouTube are going to love this. Oh, no. That's better. Nice. There we go. Imagine being colorblind. I mean, it's going to look like a mess either way. I'm, I'm not colorblind, and that still looks like shit. Fun fact, Henry Henry Ford... Okay, here's a fun fact for you. Henry Ford hated the Jews. Really fun fact. Thank you for that one. That's really brightened up my day knowing that. <laughs> Hitler had a picture of him in Hitler's office. I can believe that. I think I've read that before. So was Disney. Disney was famously quite anti-Semitic. What, you think that's apocryphal? I, I swear I've read that he was quite... A lot of his early cartoons, especially, were very, like... They were very anti-white. Yeah. He wasn't a big fan of African-Americans, and he wasn't a big fan of, uh... Like the original Tom and Jerry's pretty popular. Yeah, like the original... Tom's original owner and Tom and Jerry was really... Not great. <laughs> I would say really racist, but not particularly sensitive. Imagine watching this stream and not wanting to die. I have no idea what you're talking about. Look at this character. Why would I want to die when we've got a character like this? Nine-year-old girl, 14 Marshall. Bring it. Okay, what are we doing? Oh yeah, going to war with, with everybody. Why did I raise my troops this early? God damn it. You distract him with talks of racism. Alright. Uh, holy war. And the bonus for this... Oh, right. You can only declare one holy war at a time. Fair enough. And we actually don't have borders with these guys. God damn it. Holy war's on cooldown. Who thought that was a good idea? Huh? Paradox? I can hear someone speaking in the background or is it my mind? No. It's, it's my girl voice that I do occasionally. Why are you laughing at that? I'm throwing my voice right now. It's incredible. Alright. Let's go ahead and actually get this holy war out of the way. Oh, they're going to take a straight crossing before we can catch them. You fools. God damn it. Now I'm going to have to kill off all my retinues. The guy who made sea monkeys was in the KKK. Fun racist facts here. I mean, I know he didn't biologically... I, I, are you suggesting that the, the guy who made sea monkeys genetically engineered sea monkeys to exist? They're like, um, they're just like little shrimp though, aren't they? Something like that? Like little, little krill or something? Oh, t tardigrades, yeah. No, tardigrades are like microscopic. Sea monkeys are genuine, just like little shrimps, something like that. Sea monkeys are also shit, like the worst gift I've ever given. I was really excited to get sea monkeys. I was like, oh my god, you feed them and you grow them and they're really cool. And I was thinking like they're like a fish, but cooler. Except you have them for a week and then if it, if the room increases by a single temperature, they're dead. If you so much as friggin' look at them wrong, they die. I don't know why I'm still seizing these guys down. I'm just doing it to add insult to injury at this point. Alright. Let's go ahead and take out uh, Ishikari. Uh, oh, but wait. We can Holy War again? I thought we were on a limit last time. Now it's apparently saying we can just do it whenever we want. This game needs to make its mind up. Wait, maybe that was CK2+. plus. Oh my god, somebody help. I think I'm going mad. Right, this guy's going to be no problem. We can do this all with our retinues, I think. Oh god, maybe we can't. These Berserkers, not as good as you think. When it comes into the actual uh, melee phase, they're very, very good. But at the start, they get wiped out pretty quickly, don't they? After the archers phase, well, that's probably because we've got no friggin' archers, surprisingly. But when we when we get past it, we're pretty good. All right, I'm overestimating them here. Glad we're keeping it on topic, you know. I said we'd do a serious stream, <laughs> and we bought up friggin' sea monkeys. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy some sea monkeys now. We're gonna open a PO box and get nothing but sea monkeys. You realize? It's just gonna cost us a fortune. It's just gonna cost us a fortune. Nobody else Spend all my money on a PO box that doesn't do anything. Do you want a game brooding? I think it actually works against the martial education, so I'm going to say no to that one. Despite the fact we can get some alright stuff from it. Not not great, but some pretty fair.
fairly decent stuff. Um, for a regular character, at least it would be. 69% war score. How dare you. Can we buy a Pope? What does that mean? Can we buy a Pope? Do you want to explain that message a little bit? Sold. Right, good. Next one. Uh, we'll keep Holy Warren because this is doing wonders for our moral authority. We're up to 30% now. Sweet. Okay. Um, do we want to let our retinues maybe reinforce a little bit? 50 soldiers a month. Did we lose an entire unit of retinues in that case? Yeah, we did. Shit. Um, again, maybe mixed retinues would be a better idea, but... I mean, who doesn't want 2,000 very angry berserkers fighting your wars for you? It's like a much better idea to me. Righteous Imprisonment. Who have we got? Um, this man. Is that not our father? Ah, well. We'll leave him. Uh, we've got a Jarl, who's the leader of a plot. What's he trying to do? Um, fabricate a claim on the kingdom. Oi, enough of that. And your plot. Not today. I want a Pope. Buy one and troll the crap. Oh, you want to buy an anti-Pope. Right, you want me to establish an anti-Pope. As... <clears throat> as as Zoroastrian might not be possible there. Just gonna just gonna suggest that. Right, let's uh, let's invest in more boats. We, ha we can't get any more boats at all. Merchant guild for the cash, although one income for 215 gold up front. That's gonna take a very long time to pay itself off. So I'm gonna go with the corn farm instead. Um, let's upgrade Winchester if we can as well. Our capital here, um, Castle Town, done, and a Castle Town here as well. What's our what's our income looking like right now? Plus 22 gold a month. Not a huge amount then. Not too great. You fuck off. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're ruining my live stream. Banned. You're banned from this room. No, it's my room. Uh, fun fact. Philippe Paton, as leader of uh, v Vichy France, I don't know what that means, was found wandering his guns in his underwear, seeing Lunatic's wonderful trait. We need more like that in CK2. I think the closest you can probably get in CK2 is the one where you go into a rose bush and uh, you have sex with a fairy or a nymph or something. That's close enough, right? I like money, just buy one and be like, I forgot I couldn't do that, my bad. Um, I don't think that's how it works. I think you generally pay for the Pope up front. Alright, let's go ahead and take out these people. Uh, why can we not declare war on you now? It needs to be approved by my... Oh, now my council don't want to approve it, right? It's probably because we've got too many seats, I guess. Um, welcome aboard. Okay. Are we are we good? Yeah, there we go. Okay, Holy War. We might as well have them one day away from the province so that when their troops raise, they're going to get smashed immediately with no morale. Um, 7th of July. Shit. It's almost like I could put the speed down or something. Too stubborn. Uh, 2nd of August. That'll do. You know what? Close enough. Right. Uh, it's nice knowing you. Perfect. Uh, let's take this province out. I'm just going to see if she's down just before everyone else joins the solo war because it's kind of turned into a bit of a pain in the ass. There we go. Bunch more provinces for us. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll just go ahead and give this whole duchy away to a new vassal, I guess. Just because it's a bit, bit of a shitty province we're not really interested in. Duchy of Ezo. Sold. Uh, who do you want to give that to? I guess we should invite a noble to court. 68 gold. Well wasted, seeing as we're going to have many better nobles that have already spawned. Oh well. Too late now. Done. Thanks. Alright, rent news back. Should we go raiding again? I suppose we might as well, seeing as we haven't really got much else to do at this point. We're like the most distracting human being ever. This is why I stream when you're not home. I have stream without you here. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. What? Next, take Russia. Isn't Russia just a wasteland at this point, though? It's all just... Oh, th no, there are actually tribal up there. Okay, fair enough. You know what? I underestimate you guys. We do want to take out Korea. Can we actually declare war on Korea now? Why can't we holy war Korea? Do we need a land border with them? Do we not count as actually having a, a sufficient enough border to do so? Uh, let's fabricate some claims to start off with them. Fuck it. Let's grab a duchy from them. We share 50% of our DNA with bananas. Does that make us half cannibal? I mean, I don't eat bananas, so no. But maybe the rest of you, yeah, definitely. Reform the faith and sneak can buy popes into reformation. I'm face farming. You can't say this. This is why we need the, the face cam green screen plan. Well, just like a mother, she came out dull. Brilliant. What a fucking idiot. I mean, what a great, just a lovely child there. You fool. She's still an improvement over mother in the sense that she's genius and or brilliant and brawny. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. Can't holy war career because they're god. Uh, citation needed. You sound like you're a fan of uh, what's that Korean band name? BTS. See, the one time I'm actually talking to you, want a response, you're ignoring me. What are those boys from Korea called? Boys from Korea. The band. Oh. 
BTS, yeah. BTS, yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, we've got to climb on Korea, more importantly. We'll make our own BTS with Blackjack and Hookers. We might actually have to go and raid Korea to be able to attack Korea. Is there, what legitimately is the reason we can't attack Korea, though? I can't think of anything off the top of my head besides the fact that we just don't have um, a land border with them. But we can get a land border. They've got 5,000 men versus 12,000. Holy shit, where do we get so many troops? Oh, it's probably because we've got decent marshal, to be fair. All right, let's claim uh, Gangju. Do we want to wait until we get a better claim? Probably not, because we can't afford it. Let's do it. We don't have many boats, so that's the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about. <laughs> More like BS. Got him. Take that, career. Oh, they're going to ship their troops over to me? Well, that's nice of them. That's really considerate. Okay. Uh, we get the right need to just sort of deal with these small stacks that appear. Oh, God. This is going to be a nightmare to try and deal with. Right. Let's put the speed down a little bit. All right. Uh, succession inheritance? I, I really couldn't care less, actually. All right. You guys go to the the, uh, the main troops there. Put it to speed four. I'm sure I can manage with speed four trying to click around these provinces. Right. Well, that's a good start. Are they actually going to be able to get enough boats to bring troops over here? It looks like they might, you know. Holy shit. Oh, they're bringing them over piecemeal. Okay, fair enough. It's going to make my life easier still. All right, let's uh, get these troops merged. We'll let their armies come over here and we'll kill them. And then we're just going to move some troops over to siege. And then we've, we've basically done it. Can't land a war career because we already put holes in them when you were raiding them. Again, not sure that's how that works. I, I think it might actually be the land border, like I said. But, you know, you might be right. What do I know about holy warring in Korea? It's not like I've ever done it before in CK2. 75%. Right, now we actually need to go out and uh, go and attack them. Split the units. We might as well split off our retinues as well. Right. Um, we can get these guys on boats, can't we? Oh, they're not in the right province. I'm a fool. Uh, on the boats with you. I'll send them retinues as well if they can fit, I suppose. Wouldn't hurt. There you go. Awesome, right. Can I, can I hit my, my boats, though? There we go. Uh, it's a fun fact. If you hold down alt, you can pick only the boats, which is really useful when you've got 7,000 provinces all rammed together in a tiny little square. We'll boat bomb that. I think we'll be all right. Hello, it's me. I'm here to holy war you in a minute. When you're 16, get primogeniture. Absolutely. That's the plan. Um, Losing 10% every 12 days. I think all we've got to do is take this and then we're probably the war will be over. Uh, Kind of charitable. Yeah, I think... Kind would be really good. Hey, we got kind. That's fine by me. Let's make our vassals like us a little bit more. Now, what we really want to focus on, if we are playing a female run, is definitely getting immaculate or attractive into the family as quick as possible. So, next generation, we'll try and focus on that. In fact, we should probably be focusing on that more than the whole inbreeding aspect of things. But, yeah, seems we've already got brilliant. I might break the betrothal to our dad. <laughs> CK2 is the most historically accurate game, as long as you don't unpause it. Yeah. Are we actually going to have to go for their capital as well? Just just take a look around the map. And you know, you get a good idea of the geography and the rulers and everything. And then you unpause it and, uh, you know, Charlemagne fucks his horse. And then the next thing you know, everything's ruined. I really don't understand the mindset of people who play CK2 like it's some, some legitimate historical simulation game. I've, I've never been able to get into that mindset. I've always treated it as a pretty funny, tongue-in-cheek, tongue sort of light comedic, you know, strategy game. And that's, that's essentially what it is, right? Go to university and take out the largest loan you can. Oh, you want me to recreate the uh, the student lifestyle? I see. Got it. The issue is, in this game, it's pretty easy to pay back your loans. You know, they, they actually want you to pay them back. Student loans? Nah, not so much. We dragged Banya out of your hole. Twitch, that's what Twitch are thinking about me, that they're going to ban you. Right. Let's deal with that. Uh, nothing for you today. We need this gold for uh, my Korean conquests. So this is going to give us a foot in the door. We could have waited to get the duchy level claim, but... Does it matter? Probably not. What this does give us, though, is the ability to, um... <laughs> we can raid all the surrounding provinces without the need for boats, which is pretty nice. God damn it, what's happening? Men don't interest me. Instead, I feel drawn to other women. Me, IRL. Getting the trait. Homosexual. Sweet. That's going to help out. That's going to make the general... Really helping out with the vassal problems that we're going to have eventually. That's good. Um, are these our best boys? These are our best boys. Awesome. Right. Let's go pick up the rest of our guys as well. And then we'll just simply walk around here and burn it all down and get the gold back that we spent on uh, reinforcing the retinues that I threw away. See those provinces down. Awesome. There we go. Sweet. Oh, Korea. You are going to hate me so much. Now, we should probably focus on killing off the uh, the king of Korea so we can... No valid plots. No valid plots. Uh, why not? That's my next question. 
But it doesn't matter too much. Oh shit, we've got so much land. Oh, did we not include lower tiles when we gave this guy the duchy? That's me being an idiot. All right. Uh, Kasuri and uh, Ishikari. Right. Uh, Ishikari, council say no. Oh boy. Sound shut off for anyone else? Um, it's apparently still working on my end. I think you've just I think you've just muted the stream. Got to be honest. <laughs> duchy of Hokuriku. Right, let's create actually a duchy for these guys. Tidy up our vassals a little bit. Here you go. Uh, Yaldum of Hokuriku. They're still not going to say yes to that. My god, the council of dicks. I might just skip ahead till we're 16 just so we can actually play the game again. And that means I can hydrate. Apparently on Twitch there's a hydrate bot that goes to random people's chats and reminds them to drink some water. If that thing turns up here, I'm going to ban it immediately. I'm warning you now, hydrate bot. I'm calling you out. If you turn up, you're gone. Um, I'll play for the translation, absolutely. Sure, why not? And that, as they say, is that. Look at how much gold we're getting from this. Holy shit, this is a really good idea. What we might want to do is just sit ourselves like here. Just grab this province in China and just raid everything around it. Or like here, for example, raid everything around that. Might not be a bad idea, you know. It makes raiding really easy. You could just raid the troops in there and, you know, province to province to province, put them back in the province and then stand them down. Uh, no, we're pretty good. Giving you absolutely nothing at all. Can we holy war anywhere else, though? Let's take a look. So, these guys, no. We do have our army levies raised, so that's probably not the best idea. Let's just wait till it's 16. Sod it. I like that you asked if the sound was set off, and then I explained that it was fine via the medium of sound. Probably not the best idea in hindsight. 20 soldiers a month. Nice. So our retinues are still reinforcing. Um, oh, the retinues have just finished reinforcing. We're done. Skill tactician. You know what? That's fine. 20 martial. I'll take it. Now we want to get rid of dull, so we'll go for business focus immediately to start off with them. We'll go uh, groom and air. Do we want to marry our dad? Actually, I'm going to break the betrothal. You know what? The incest can wait until we've got immaculate and brilliant in the family tree. Is he disappointed now? Is he annoyed at me because I broke the betrothal? No, he's probably relieved, if anything. Right. Um, let's go ahead and find uh, an immaculate man. Immaculate. Um, there's actually plenty around. This guy's lustful as well. Oh, hang on. Diplorange, yes. Uh, ruler, preferably not either. All right. What can we find then? Um, military tutor, commander of the guards. We're looking for anybody without a rank, ideally. Oh, shit. They've all got ranks. That's annoying. Um... Courtier? He'll do. Immaculate? He's seven years old. We've been waiting a while, though. Treasure, treasure. Commanders are fine. Like We'll take any commanders we've got. Uh, Commander 41. Diligent, kind. He'll do. Sod it. Send him a gift. And invite him to court. We'll buy a favor first, though, obviously. Right. Nice. There's our husband. We'll go for the, the Irishman halfway across the world. Welcome aboard. He's immaculate. He's diligent. He's just. He's kind. He's actually a pretty decent character. I don't know what paying for translation is actually doing for us. I think it's just wasting our gold, to be honest with you. Oh, well. Might as well go for it, see if it actually does do anything eventually. By the time we finish sieging all these provinces, we might actually be able to, um... We might actually be able to go back to the start and just do a loop, essentially. Uh, no, you definitely are not buying a castle from me. Now, let's go ahead and get ourselves married. Remember, Sun Tzu once said, fall back, don't crack. That's not true. I, I'm, I'm not calling you a liar. I just don't think he actually said that. Uh, matrilineal. Nice. Okay, let's try and get... If we can get a daughter that's immaculate and brilliant, we've won the game. And I'm not even joking that much. Uh, demand religious conversion problem as well. Uh, we'll take the prestige because the 19 gold isn't particularly worthwhile at this point. I hate this channel, Sun Tzu. <laughs> I just realized how small that actually is on the stream. I'll, I'll do that, seeing as, um... The messages are disappearing pretty quickly as well. So people on YouTube can't complain that much. And if you do, you're banned. Alright, new important decisions available. What should we go for? Commissioner Runestone? Probably not a bad idea. Search for a smith. We definitely want to do that. Somebody said equip the right weapon. Good plan. Should we go for our crown jewels again? Seeing as career is basically funding it, let's go for it. Commissioner Runestone, actually. Let's get the um, let's get the general opinion bonus. Because we're simple again. We have to basically let those guys do it for us. There's a lot of pressure. Getting the trait stressed. And let's join the Hermetics actually try and write a goddamn magnum opus this time. Um, oh, are we too stupid? We're too stupid. Need a learning of 10. God damn it, we're one point off. We might have to go for... Um, we might have to go for... The scholarship focus first. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, what have we got? Hold Grand Tournament, search for a smith, hold a feast, compose a book. Let's do that first. 
Um, oh, we didn't finish our book either. God damn it. Complexity of war. If we're going to go Marshall, let's stick Marshall. You're not too wrong about the Opium Wars. The Opium Wars famously uh, accumulating in uh, the Treaty of Shimonesekai. And that's not actually a joke. That's about as, as historical as I remember from the, uh, from the Opium Wars. Confront Bertil about his dishonest ways to the world. Hey, Bertil. Uh, get fucked, Bertil. Oh, God. <laughs> that threw me off then. Generally looks like it's coming out my screen. Greetings. Hans, uh, Han Hannah Zono. Hannah, Hannah Zono. Let me be the best. Let me share the best trick to improve yourself as a fighter. Field experience. Gather some men and lead them into battle. For death or glory. Fight well. Ambion. Thanks, Ambion. Um, what is this doing for us then? Okay, military training. Name Esquire. Buy a weapon. The bounty board. Oh, cool. Okay, uh, name Esquire. Request military training. Seems like it might be a good idea. Lead our men into battle. Well, we can do that pretty much instantly here. Done. Problem solved. Is that it? Oh, do we have to actually fight some troops? Maybe we'll, we actually have to fight some troops. How's that? We done it? Yeah, there we go. 200 glory. Sweet. Are we getting Novice Fighter? Oh, they've, they've got that over from uh, from CK2+. Plus. Sweet. That's awesome. So we actually can buff up our Marshal as well. That's sweet. Primogeniture. You're a genius. You're a scholar. You're a saint. We can't. Um, we need... Oh, later Imperial Feudal Administration. We could probably pass that now, to be honest with you. Um, what do we need for that? Legalism level 3. God damn it. Okay, well, no, we're miles off. We're miles off. We can get Corpus Iris Canonici, though. Which is going to make our uh, our feudal vassals like us a lot more. Can go for religious control mandate as well. Fall back. They'll take our, take our opium that one time wasn't chill during warfare. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. Nothing for you today. Rank up again. Oh, wait. We didn't rank up. Oh, you rank up by asking for a jewel. All right. I think we'll pretty much kill anybody who tries to... Okay, we're, we're brilliant. We're brawny. Novice fighter. Foe hammer. Ask for a jewel. Bring it. Um, what about this guy? What's his personal combat? Two. You're dead. Let our battle cry. Oh, God. They've got their own custom jewel system. Ah, oh, I need to learn mechanics. Why? Let our battle cry. Raise the odds of critical and lower the odds of normal. Do a jump attack. Aim for the head. As this as Thanos said, you should have aimed for the head. He avoided the attack and st stroke back. Stro that should be struck back, I think. But there we go. 0-2 um, versus your foe. Shit. Uh, try to parry. It's 2-2. Two, do two. a quick and simple attack. Do a normal attack. Do an extravagant attack. Quick and simple. You avoided the attack and struck back. Sweet. 2-2. Two, two. Um, flail wildly. Do a sure hit. Do a sure hit. Seems the most appropriate. 4-2. Alright. Uh, hit chance. But why don't we just always go with the highest hit chance? It seems the most... The best way. Then it's Florence Opium Fields. Opium Fields. Name and child Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu seems appropriate. So we'll do that. Because everybody knows we're playing as China. Uh, try to parry? Victory is yours. Oh, I like the fanfare. The referee stopped the fight and declared you as the victor. You can now be considered a veteran. While your defeat of foes shamed, will be considered the lowly novice rank. You fool. One step closer to greatness. I'm worried that eventually that's going to get me killed, but there we go. We can hire a warrior commander. Okay, go on a warrior pilgrimage or raise an army. Uh, create an army in your capital. Every tournament you've created in your domain will spawn additional troops. Oh shit, so that's like um, like the, uh, the tribal army option with prestige. That's cool. I like that. Um, how do we request military training? Maybe the intrigue menu? Yeah, here we go. Uh, request military training. Absolutely, let's do it. Um, we can see the bounty board, so we can actually challenge certain people to fight. And if we kill them, we actually get the bounty on their head. So, um, how do we do that? I guess we have to take the, the focus and actually duel them manually. Can we just plot to kill them? I doubt it. Um, sure. May is who hasn't run away and stand before you. Oh, we just, we just actually click him on the list. Sweet. Awesome. Let's do it. For glory. To death. Oh, it's using this system. Right. Um, try to parry. Absolutely. Do a simple and quick attack. You avoided the attack and missed the follow-up. Okay, that seems pretty good. To the death. Oh, shit. Uh, do a jump attack. Critical. If we if we land the hit, it's going to be a really big hit. Uh, let's just keep sticking with sure and, sure and straightforward. Quick and simple. Uh, you've stunned and struck again. Sweet. Try to parry. Swing your weapon. Parry. Uh, offensive stance. Raise the odds of critical hits and critical misses. Let's do a jump attack. We haven't done that one yet. What a way to kill him. That's awesome. The jewel to death has come to an abrupt end. Your target is who died at the end of your blade. Just as if served and you will be rewarded. 100 gold and 150 prestige. Hooray. Oh, shit. Next to a still warm body, there is a shattered weapon. You pick it up and keep it as a trophy. One more to the pile. Do you actually gain a shattered weapon from that? 
Oh, we do. It's his broken weapon. Plus 10 months of prestige. Oh, this is cool. This is a really good society. I haven't, I haven't done much with this society before. We looked at it very briefly in Mythlo... Myth... Plur. Plur. We looked at it very briefly in, uh, in Mythos, but this is cool. I like that. You're doing the dueling society, aren't you? Mm. I played this society and you get a lot of people challenging you. Do you remember when we were on multiplayer? Yeah. I had to keep on pausing. It was because I was doing duels and stuff. Oh, okay, right. So it's, it's fun, but you're going to be doing it for She's a pretty strong character. Oh, she is wounded, stressed, and depressed, though. She's probably going to die instantly. Um, take a rest to recover. Absolutely. Um... Take a year off, but we gain some health. Yeah, I feel like that's appropriate at this point, because I really don't want to die again. You either collect the weapon or their head. Collect your... Combine your trophies. What does that do? Allows you to transform 10 trophies, broken weapons or heads, into a single one that's much less likely to vanish on inheritance. Oh, that's cool. Has 10 trophies of the same kind. I feel like we want to be killing a lot of people then. That's really cool. Okay. Well, let's carry on with our with our raiding and actually, you know, keep investing in this capital, that type of thing. Oh, we want to get some armor for ourselves, I guess, right? Um... Search for a smith. I need a new set of armor. I feel like that's more important than jewels at this point. Spend some money on new supplies for our court physician. Sure, why not? Especially as we're ill. That might have be been a bad idea. Presence have risen up. Oh, it's a, oh no, a hundred peasants. Careful. Um, let's not have you guys die immediately. We don't really have that many troops. Oh god, we got to take a straight crossing as well to actually get there. Uh, that's a little bit annoying. I won't lie. Stressed and depressed, she must be in high school. Well, at least the wound healed, so she's not completely likely to drop down dead. Um, husband, we need we need Babby. Send a gift. Um, award honorary title. Where is Master Babby Maker? 95. Well, he likes us a decent amount, so I guess we got to wait and see. She's homosexual, that is the downside to it. And does she have anything else that takes away? I mean, stress and depressed both as well affect fertility. God damn it. If we die now, it's game. Oh, oh no, we do have a sister, right? Oh, she's coming out pretty good. Let's, let's let's arrange um, let's arrange a decent education. What's she gone for? Diplomacy. She's got haughty, fussy, and shrewd. Oh, a bit weird. Okay. Um. Our father. Our father is a great diplomat. He'll do. You should have the option forced to bed. I mean, I feel like that would affect the Peggy rating of the game. I'll be honest with you. I feel like that would raise a lot of eyebrows. I'm in need of protection. Make me some strong and sturdy armor. Uh, we're not going to anything, battle but anything but the very best. Excellent. Oh, God. That cost me a lot of gold, didn't it? Oh, they actually moved over from the straight crossing because they're considerate like that. Sweet. Problem solved. And there's an, an immediately another uprising. Oh, God. That's a lot of troops. We're actually going to have to bring these guys home. Uh, right. Raise the boats. Um, can you guys actually go to here instead, though? Oh shit, there we go. It's actually worked this time. Spend money to get potentially an even better set of armor. Right, we're going to get tier 4 armor. This is the best one we've got. Sweet, that's awesome. Um, our money, though, that's not looking so good. But we'd, we'd raid Korea a bit more. You know how it is. They know how dogs is and all that. Right. Let's move you guys over. we we'll sort of land nearby where they're kind of exactly... Oh, they've all died to attrition. Okay, never mind. That's me being worried over absolutely nothing at all. Uh, can we, can we get some boats here? This is a sound investment. Uh, maybe not. Uh, normally I do that, but, you know, when we've got minus 818 gold and still a rebellion, yeah, maybe not. Now, there is a chance that event can fail and we'll have to spend even more money to get the armor that we ordered. Um, should have probably checked the smith as well, because they can also run off with your armor, which we need to hunt them down. Right, problem solved. There we go. Right, back to, uh, back to Korea for some more raiding, I think. Let's get our, let's keep our retinues on the mainland. Oh, sweet. Angelic Guardian, green armor. Everyone shall fear the immortal. Oh, God, that one's horrifying. Sweet. Oh, look at that. Quality 4. Moral damage plus 15%. Martial plus 7. Personal combat skill plus 7? Holy shit. Well, that's going to help out a huge amount. Sweet. Okay, Marshal done. Spy Master. Pretty good. Um, study technology, if you don't mind. We'll, we'll send you to China's capital. Again, again, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, let's get you performing statecraft, because now we can actually just holy war over these guys. Um, that's looking good. I think we've got a good setup. Is there anything I've forgotten? Is there anything I've, I've completely, uh, not taken into account of once again? Right, split off our retinues, move you guys into the capital, just to take care of any rebellions if we need to. No, boats stay there. And you guys also stay there. Right, we need to split these up and get them on the boats. I don't really want to get gold from my vassals, because it'll kind of annoy them a little bit. Uh, right, let's grab our boats, grab our boats, mark them as raiders, and off you go. 
And and off you go. Awesome. Now I assume these guys have Oh, they still haven't regenerated. How long till they're looted? Seven nine two? Oh September. Okay, we've got to wait till next month before we can actually burn them down. We can start over here in the meantime. Right. Go ahead and pick these guys up as well. Again, I'd like to visit China, but I feel like we need a pretty big doom stack before China before we can actually rebel China trying to kill us off. Because if we if we're a big enough threat, they will just conglomerate their troops and smash us afterwards, so. Legalism? Uh level two. Yeah, we just hit legalism level two. So, was it level 3 we need for Primo, isn't it? Can we pass any more laws while we're here? Yeah, Corpus Iris, Kalanichi, nice. Um, I mean, seniority wouldn't be a bad start. Oh, Royal Lords of Japan, obviously, we flip that over to an attic as well. I don't know why people are upset with that. It's like they don't want to have double the amount of people who can potentially inherit. Alright, special minor titles grantable, designated region. We should probably check out our vassals at some stage. Just to see, just to make sure that the rams obviously being held together pretty well. It doesn't look too bad, just just judging by this list by itself. Um, let's get you guys. And we should probably look at the religion and the culture map mode as well. See if we've actually had any successful conversion yet. Um, religion map mode? It's all still 100% Shinto. What about culture map mode then? And it's all still uh, Japanese, I assume. Damn. I suppose we haven't really been playing that long. We've got to wait a while. Alright, so these are our retinues. What are they down to? Still 2,000 men. Okay, we're good. Now, how long until we can get the next level of Flogies tech mod is obviously going to be my next question. Um, construction is still really, really low. Good God. Tech's going to take us a very, very long time. Again, maybe... Marry the betrothed? Marry the, bet marry the betrothed? What does that mean? If by marry off our heir, then yeah, I agree. Uh, what do we marry her to our father? Can we do that? Yeah. Matrilineal. There we go. Problem solved. Good. You guys want an incest? There you go. There's your incest. Token incest for this episode. Right. Three starts could be created. Again, we can't really afford those yet. Wrong type of holding domain. We still have this crap. God damn it. Okay. Council no longer gets to say in it. So you can have uh, all of this nonsense over here. Ishikari and uh, Kasuri. Kasuri? Nice. Okay. Um, What have we actually got that's ours then? We've got this one over here. That one doesn't belong to us. A Hokoriku. Um, oh, shit. Right. Our... Oh, well, let's kill off our sister. Fuck it. Give me that land back. Hey. I want that back. You've had it for too long. Chance of raising your work. Sure. That's what we want to see. Again, Hermetic Society plus writing a bunch of books would be better for this early game. It's kind of how I like to play by myself, but I realize that's really, really boring. That is really, like, the true long game there. It makes running game really, really easy, but it makes you... you you know, the beginning of the game, really boring. So, maybe not. Alright, is this guy... Oh, yeah, they're back to being on siege. Sweet. Only 50 states? Is that what we're going to name a province? What have we got? Nagasa. That, instead of key, we'll call that, uh... Only 50. And we'll call the capital... Oh, the actual province. States. There we go. Nice. Good callback. I'm going to name one, uh... What do we name one after each series I've done? See if I can actually remember what I've done here. So this one can be called, um, it's going to be called Aeliad. And then we'll go ahead and call the actual castle itself, Elrang. Artifacts are OP. Um, artifacts are ridiculously OP. That's why I like trying to get as many artifacts as possible. Without China, actually, we're kind of limited a little bit more, you know. Uh, Kabuki, that's all the way up there. We don't care about that. Gang is in Korea. Toba is, oh, this castle here. You get to be called, um... What are we actually going to call this now? This be an opium mod. Just realized it's 11.40 on a Sunday. Good night. Hope the rest of the stream goes well. Thank you very much. It is 11.40 on a Sunday, isn't it? I do need to be up pretty early tomorrow, so I can't stream for much longer. Um, I think we'll carry on with this, though. This has been pretty fun. It's kind of hard playing CK2 on stream, because I get distracted, like, a lot. It's not like where I go into recording each video with a goal in mind. With this, we're just sort of, like, bumbling through it, I suppose. Opium Farm and Sun Tzu. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Um, <laughs> obviously Sun Tzu, what did I expect? Call this one, uh, Sun Tzu, and then when we have a son, we'll actually call him Sun Tzu, but obviously spelled S-O-N, and then, uh, what have we got, Gang, Kabuki, these I'm going to give away, so there's not much point, oh god damn it, Ashima Tribe, go away, right, that's good, we'll name this one in Korea, seeing as we're going to hold this one for a while, because this, this is our foot in the door, we'll call this one, uh, we'll call this one Opium, That's not cultural insensitive at all. One of these... G oh, looted as far as the 3rd of January. Oh, shit, we got to wait ages for that. Oh, we're mnemonic. Oh, my God, please don't die. Uh, my life is in your hands. 
Successful, but I got one legged. Oh, come on. Personal combat minus three. This game really likes screwing us, doesn't it? We got really, really just unlucky with this, to be completely honest with you. Depressed and stressed. Um, kind of want to join the trade league, to be honest with you. How long have we got? Wait, two years? This is ridiculous. We've got so unlucky with the actual health itself. Um, followers advice is 10% chance of losing... Oh, wait, gaining the trade system. We don't want that. Well, followers advice. Sure, why not? So this is actually the training event that we sent for ages ago to get the... Um, to get the, the guy to come and train us in Marshall. But apparently he's just given us chances of gregarious. Sure, why not? There we go. Now we can marry off our sister to our father. Start the Viking Age. Excellent. That's what we wanted to hear. New Castus Belli. That gives us the... Um, Coastal Conquest, which is obviously really, really good for us because we can basically conquer all the way down to Australia now. <laughs> Opium's not good for country, but damn, is it good. Can't say I have much experience with Opium, I'll be honest. Right, get back to Puzzle of the Capital. Uh, what have we got? More duchies that we don't care about too much. 10% chance of getting brave. That I would actually like. Nope. Fuck you too, game. Uh, Villa's dishonest ways to the world, and this guy wants us to... Hunt this man to death. What's his personal combat? Minus two. Absolutely. I'll do that. Zealous. The Varangian Guard has formed as well. We could send our kids off to that, I assume. I don't think there's a Diplo range limitation on that. We've had so many chances of getting a decent trait, and we're just not getting anything at all. Right, let's rank up. Fuck it. Let's go for it. Even though we're ill with one leg. Let's give it a go. Swing your weapon. Oh, nice. That's off to a good start. Uh, do an extravagant attack. And um, Parry. Aim for the head. Let's just try and kill him as quick as we can. We did it. The one-legged. She's bleeding to death. Uh, she's stressed and depressed. She just can't be beaten. That's awesome. So what can we do at this level? Um, form a mercenary band government. Well, we can't do that. Six appeal plus ten, though. That's working out pretty well. Hunt your target. Mission. The bounty is trying to avoid his fate by offering a small amount of ducats. There's no chance for such a small amount of coin can make you avoid a good fight. Yes, yes, it could. We gain 50 gold, lose 100 prestige. Or we, and we complete the mission, or we only accept payment in blood. Yeah, I want that trophy. Um, try to parry. Do a jump attack. Now, this guy's got shit personal combat. So, if he wins, I'm going to be really, really annoyed. Extravagant attack. Try to parry. Jump attack. Extravagant attack. Nice. We actually hit him. Parry. Come on. Kill him off. Oh, God. Your foe avoided the attack and struck back. Shit. Um, flail wildly. Jump attack. Yeah. Oh, sweet. And we got trained fire out of that. If this character survives all of her maimings, then uh, then I think she'll be pretty good. I think she'll... Severely injured, wounded, stressed, depressed. I have a feeling when I'm poor, she's just going to drop down dead. Uh, court physician? Do you actually want to try and take rest to recover? Absolutely. I might even flip focus to like hunting or something like that for the health. Maybe even the family focus. Oh, God. Um, let's ransom off these, these kids in my prison. Um... I feel like we're going to die. <laughs> Only time will tell. We do have Brawny, though. I've got to take that into account. That we are a little bit stronger because of that. All right. I'm actually not going to do anything else at all until we've healed up. Oh, God. Please don't die. Plus five health from that. Followers advice. Sure, why not? Offer her land. My friend, Kofukuji Satsu, does not stand to inherit any land. She's Japanese. Nope. Not happening. Lost straight severely injured. Awesome. That's a good start. But if we could just lose Wounded as well, I feel a little bit more confident here. Deceitful is good, if we can grab it. Uh, no funds for you. These funds are for me. 16 gold per month. We're really not making that many. Trusting? Absolutely not. I'm ignoring that one. Well, apparently we're a poor student. Oh, sod off. What an idiot. Hmm. Is she going to survive this? Again, Hermetic... Wait, we can join the Hermetic Society. Uh... The Warrior Society is pretty good, but I'd also kind of like to join the Hermetic Society because A, we can brew those potions, get rid of stress and depressed. B, we can write a Magnum Opus to give us extra bonus health. We've got really unlucky with just getting, you know, ill quite frequently. Apparently, who are we killing off? Oh, my sister. Sweet. That's awesome. Although, not awesome, obviously, if we die because now we have no air. <laughs> Risky plays. All right. I like it. No children yet. Hmm. Yeah, not looking good. Again, maybe flipping to family focus wouldn't be too bad because it's going to give us the health when he's 2nd of September. 
Just got survivor year, and then we're, then we're good. Right, we've got that land back from our sister, at least. Uh, Sanin. Let's go ahead and create that and give it away, just because we've got way too much shit happening here. Way too many uh, vassals to manage. I'd rather just one vassal that loves us, to be honest with you. Right, what else have we got here? Uh... Issei is in Tokai. Is that not the duchy that we actually... Oh, no, that's a different duchy. God damn it. Um, oh, we have the duchy of Tokai and all the things that came with it. Right. I'm just going to give that away as well, just because I can't be bothered to manage all this land. There we go. Problem solved. And we should have one duchy now. Yeah, one duchy. Nine provinces. I'll take it. Go seduction like last stream. I kind of wanted the health bonus, I won't lie. That was partially why I was going to go for it. Um, saying that, though, it does give sex appeal and would guarantee us... Or, at least give us a higher chance at an air. 2nd of September, 795. Come on, you can survive that. It's just a flesh wound. Boats prosper. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Good for the boats. We might actually be able to, um, <laughs> we might be able to raid a bit more effectively. All right, let's move up. Next Korean province. Even leaving, leaving raiders like that, is, uh, they'll pay for themselves pretty quickly, so it's not a problem. You know, they're just basically funneling all the funds from that province into our province instead, so that works for me. Too bad Koku, Ko, Kofukuji Satsu didn't like my friend. Typical. Typical Kofukuji Satsu. Uh, what do we need to find the academy? I'd like to do that before we finish today. Oh, we need 75 county titles. That's going to take ages. Hold a feast. Search for another smith. Try and get some gold. Why not? It's going to happen again, isn't it? We're going to send for a goldsmith. Spend all the money on it. <gasps> We've done it. Husband will be pleased. Excellent. Nice. That's really, really good. Um, do we want to just siege this guy down? Siege of Yong? I mean, we do need the money, but maybe not that desperate. I'm just thinking if the goldsmith turns up and needs the extra thousand gold, we probably want to get it as quick as possible, right? Nothing explains authority like fine jewelry, and you can have a thousand gold. Sweet. Um, do we want to let Elin help? Sure, why not? Lose 50 prestige. I don't really care that much. It's 50 prestige. Doing how much prestige we're just getting from attacking these guys. I mean, it'll pay for itself eventually. Now, we can go seduction and seduce all of our vassals, obviously. That would make them like us a lot. But, um... I'm trying to think of... The, is there really a downside to it? Oh, nice. We're going to get the tier 4 crown jewels as well. Shame we couldn't get the tier 4 weapon, but, you know, that's fine. Right, find an apprentice. Really good reason not to immediately set yourself a hermetic apprentice, just because you can name one and get the free esoteric knowledge, really. Awesome. Uh, there's no real downside to seducing everyone, is there? Not You think a brilliant or immaculate? Right. We call him uh, Sun Tzu, in brackets, uh, going in the O, going in C. There we go, perfect. I, oh shit. Le my level is difficult and I feel something's wrong with me. My midwives look, <laughs> my midwives look worried and I feel so terribly weak. Oh shit. Why did I open my stupid mouth? And we're in attic as well. <laughs> um... I'm going to flip to absolute Cognatic. Otherwise, we're going to get game over. And that's the truth of it. We'll go back to an attic when we're done. But we do need to at least give ourselves a chance. Uh, oh, we need to do it for the Kingdom of Japan as well. Uh, what do we need for that? Oh, my God. We've already changed it. Oh, it's already in? An attic cabal kind? Why is he fit to inherit that? Am I, am I crazy? No, well, that's fine. Whatever. We're good. We're good. Right, what time is it? In real time. We'll see if we survive this, then I'll probably wrap the stream up. Thank you everyone for tuning in. It's been worth all the hard work. Hey, we got on feudal warfare. That'll do. Um, that takes our marshal up to a hey, moral damage plus 10% moral defense plus 10%. That's huge. Holy shit, we're up to 22 marshal. We got a lot of buffs, obviously, from our, our, uh, our armor here, our weapon as well. Just wait for these crown jewels to turn up, and then I think we'll call it there. Uh, none of my business. Please don't die. I feel better. Oh, sweet. Good. We survived it. Um, regalia worthy of a true empress. Heavenly circuit and the staff of majesty. What's that giving us then? Um, opinion plus four. And that was given opinion plus four as well. Sweet. We should be in a pretty good place then. Yeah. All, almost all of our dukes like us. We've only got one duke that doesn't. Um, that's because we just changed the succession law. So you know what? Fair enough. And we're one-legged. That seems a bit rude. Nice. All right. We'll call it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. Um, we'll come back to this, because this has gone pretty well, I think. I, I'm quite enjoying this campaign. I need to get used to playing CK2 on 
stream. It's very, very different from doing it for YouTube because I can always cut out the bits where we're not really doing much. And I generally find myself pretty pretty pigeonholed down a particular route, so uh, I'll get used to it as we go on. Thanks for watching. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks everyone for following. Um, I'll probably do another stream. I'll do it every other day, I think, at, at most. Um, just because I don't really want to go crazy with the Twitch streams. But yeah, we'll call it there. Good good work. Uh, whatever this character... What was this character? What did we call her? We gave her an actual name, didn't we, when she was born. But she, she lost it when we became Empress, apparently. So, uh, alright. Sweet. See you all next time. Don't forget to save the damn game, either. Nora Astrianism. We'll be back for you.